What's going on? Here we go. We're going to go live on YouTube. Three, two, one. Blast off. Yo, what's up, folks? YouTube. Yeah. Oh, what up, Chris? What up, Print? What up, Sir Moto? Hello? Oh, Sir Moto. Oh, my friend. Ah, ah, ah. Were we talking about springtime allergies? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is a real thing. Um, Ew, bro. What? The corruption in this world. That's all. The the ad that came up before. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was it? Wow. I get you. <laughs> I get you. What's up, folks? I'm trying to split the crowd right off the top yeah that's you know you didn't say it so it's fine yo we out here y'all doing a special episode tonight we're gonna do something a little different and that's uh do the same thing we do every week oh cool yeah that's pretty neat that's pretty neat actually we are doing something a little different but it's not really gonna affect youtube or prank cast we're going live on our backup tiktok account because last night we got nixed y'all on our main account um we made a prank call that TikTok deemed inappropriate and or somebody reported us. But the hilarious part was when I went to appeal the decision, not only did they not approve the appeal, but they gave us more violations than we had before I appealed it. So, And we had a, a turd nugget that <sighs> did something dumb and was pretending to be really supportive on our show. And We've had a couple turd nuggets over the last few months, but you know what? <laughs> RJ waved his hand at me like, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, look, uh, we love you guys. We love you all. Um, we broadcast live to TikTok, and that is kind of like Pandora's box of insanity. Like, it's great because it's, it's drastically changed our whole entire trajectory as a prank call group, and it has gotten us a lot of you know, eyeballs on us, which is good, sometimes bad, you know? Sometimes it's bad. I told Danielle, like, probably about a year and a half, two years ago, honey, one day, we're gonna look back on this time right now as the best time of the goons. I just really felt that way because we weren't, you know, very popular and people didn't know who the fuck we were. Um, and it was kinda nice. Uh, so yeah, weird, weird, <laughs> right? We worked so hard to like get, um, uh, whatever. Anywho, we're grateful. We don't, are grateful. Don't get it twisted. No. We're grateful. There's just some weirdness that comes with um, a lot of people being involved in things. I'm sure you can understand that. If you've ever been in a large group of people, sometimes weird stuff happens. This is true. Whoa. That was pretty cool. Yeah, you likey. Big likey. Christine, um, yeah, we are early. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. I think. No, we are. We are. I set it for nine. So. Oh. Hell yeah. Sweet. I thought we were going live at seven, so I thought we were late. <laughs> well, we were trying to, but it didn't work out. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's get into this. So we're really early. Enjoy this intro by Despicable Dogs. And uh, shout out to all of our supporters and listeners. We love you guys. We're not talking shit. No, no, if, no, if, no, no. If we could be more candid with you guys about what we've experienced over the last, I would say, two weeks when it comes to people... Um, you would be like, holy fuck. Maybe we'll start doing, like, monthly... Shit-talking lives on, on Patreon? Yeah. yeah. I love that. Thanks for just taking over there, pal. I finish your sandwiches. I don't... I can't eat them anyway. That is true. They're not gluten-free. Enjoy this uh, intro by Despicable Dogs, who made this super cool thing for us, completely unwarranted. and We, we didn't are, ask for it. We are forever grateful for it. We think it's so cool. Enjoy it. Here we go. Let's get this show rolling, folks. <laughs> Hello. Are you sitting alone by the phone on a Wednesday with no one to bone? <laughs> Tired of the news? Don't feel like jamming tunes? Haven't had a laugh since noon. Well, great news. We have just the thing for you. Calls from the grave by the graveyard goons. Catch some hilarious prank calls with RJ and Dinella. But be forewarned, you may die of laughter. Or get your soul stolen by the graveyard goons. Ah! It's this show, Calls from the Grave. Live on TikTok, YouTube, and prankcast.com. Every Wednesday night around 8 p.m. Central. This is Dogwood Butchcock the Third. Daphne, that one is of the crazy. Souls yeah. from I the love that. Out, goons. And may Pretty you cool. tune in, or else. 
enjoy this intro call. I didn't have time to make a new one. Here's an old one, really old one. All right, so you want to place an order? Yeah, I want to place an order for a pizza, damn it. All right, What's what up, you Ice Cat? Yeah, I want the pizza. We're going to do, uh, we got, I, I want everything seasoning on it. You know, like the bagels, put the everything seasoning with some beer chicken. Uh, we're going to okay, do. anything else? Yeah, vanilla ice cream. Put that bad boy on top of there. All right. All right, Butterfinger BBs. All right, it's for pickup or delivery? It's pickup for delivery. Oh, both the ones? Yeah, 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 Pick up. So here's right, what's so up. I'll pick it I'll up and then you deliver it. Okay, I'll come to you. I'll pick it up Miranda. and then I'm going to drive back home. You guys just follow me home. That's called pickup for delivery. Hi, hey, listen, can you all just no drown that pizza in some surge? No problem. Hey, yeah, you no remember problem. back in the 80s, they had these weird, like, Ninja Turtle, like, little pie things they used to sell. They were green with the vanilla filling. Can you get can you, can What's you up, get some Tony? of them and put them on Howdy that bad doody. boy? Yo, Tony. I remember that you remember? What's up, dude? Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Good, so you got some good memory. Yeah, it looked like a Donatello good turd. Boy. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. Boy. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. Hey, can I get some gefilte right, no fish? All right, take care. Okay, barbecue hot dogs on the top of it. All right. And Tony. Mexican yeah. sausage? Oh. Please, just throw whatever you got yeah, on there. Dude. I don't care yeah. if you throw the yeah. mop water on that thing. No, I got some Mexican sausage. Mexican sausage? Really that's good. Oh, really? Is that like a peen joke? Uh, whatever you want. All right. Now, now, listen, I want you to go in the back, and I want you to get the dirtiest toilet water, and I just want you to soak that bad boy in there for about 15 minutes before you put it in the oven. Can you do that for me? No, I can do that. I don't play with the food. You don't play with poop? No. Okay, yeah, just drop a dookie, chop it up, and mince the dookie, and then just sprinkle it on there and call it ceviche or some shit. Mince the mush. And you going to eat it like that? Yeah, I'll eat it like that. Yeah, Good you boy. can. Yeah. All right. You're gonna, you you got to enjoy it. I got to enjoy it. Hey, man, you can feed it to me if you want. I'm wearing a nightie. <laughs> yeah, half and half. No cry fire. Hey man, I got to tuck hungry. back. You know what, what? I'm saying? What's you know what they fire? say. I'm Once you tuck back. So right, I was asking you if you know what they said. Hey, y'all hiring? No what? Are y'all hiring? I'm trying to get a job. My mom's kicking me out next week. She said just because I'm oh 52, I got to be at it. Yeah. Why, 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 why she kick you out? Ah, she said because I'm 52, I got to get a job, yada, yada. She just yaps all day and watches the news. It's it's really sad, honestly, man. I've been feeding off of her since I was a little yeah, kid, feel, you know? I feel bad for you. Yeah, you know what it is. It's fine. I got a, I got a new hip-hop artist I'm working with, though. and here, I think we're going to hit it big. Here he is. I'll let you talk to him. What's up, baby? It's me. He told you that I was coming on the phone, but what he didn't tell you quick was I needed some calisones. Make them shits real hot and nice, right? Did you hang up, homie? Is you still there? All right. I'm just going to keep rapping if you are, because the phone says that the thing is on the call. And baby, we're going to come up in my nighty, nighty, righty, bitey. All right. You've entered call to happen. Each call is a journey into the unexplained, and we never know who oh, or what, what will pick up that phone. Brace yourself for spooky spazzes, apathetic apparitions, and even the elusive Karen the Kraken. So recline and rewind with the ghastly events that took place on YouTube. Introducing your haunted host. What's up, party people? My name is RJ. Yeah, I'm Danielle. <laughs> and we are the Graveyard Goons, and this is Calls from the Grave, the show where every single Wednesday at 8 o'clock, this young, fine, supple couple live prank calls people from all over the galaxy because, guys, we are going to die one day. So it's our job. It's your job. It's everybody's job. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hell yeah, fam. Neat. What's poppin'? Hopefully you guys are great. I don't know if you heard the uh, the intro rant, but we've been, we're, we're, we're fucking, yeah, we can't go live on our regular TikTok account, unfortunately, for Ooh, a week. No. Um, all of our computers and phones are full of data, so things are kind of slow. Uh, man, it's been a stressful week, honestly. It's been very stressful. We've dealt with a lot of just like stupid bullshit, and we're happy to be here with you fine folks. Um, we love you guys. You guys are, and have always been, especially the YouTube folks primarily, the best audience we've ever had. Like, there's nothing, nothing compares to you. It doesn't. Um, so I just want to give you guys a shout out. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to go live on our backup account tonight on TikTok. I have no idea what it's going to bring. Sometimes it does just as well as the other one. Sometimes, who knows? Uh, so... We don't know what this night will bring, ever. I guess we don't ever, usually, anyway. We're but. happy you're here, Christine. Also, Chris, great observation. Same costumes as a few months ago. Uh, we actually wore this shit last night, and, uh, you know, this stuff's expensive, so we just kind of vibe with the same thing sometimes, you know? Yeah, Danielle and I are trying to, eventually, once we get out of this crippling debt that is both depressing, anxiety-ridden, and cortisol-filled, uh, we are going to save up to get more onesies because the onesie outfits and they're the makeup, easier. they're so easy. So if you guys ever see us in this, it's because we're running late. It's because we're stressed. It's <laughs> Yeah, this is like a good detection of where our life is. If you see us wearing these costumes, that means we're that tired. We, we're tired. <laughs> Shit, we're doing too much. What's up, Trey? Holy shit, I'm glad you're on YouTube. That's dope, dude. Yo, Trey, what's up, dude? And Trey Christine, was... Christine, we fucking love you, dude. Do dude. that, do that. My bad. <laughs> Trey, dude, I am forever grateful for you, especially last night, dude. That was so awesome. Trey came into our... I think he found us last night on TikTok on for the tiki. first time. Dude was so generous and so nice and so patient. And, like, Trey, you are the perfect audience member, dude, for real. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get into this. We're going to kick off. If you guys have never seen this show before on YouTube, the way we do it is we uh, we do a call to a business at first because they're more obligated to pick up the phone than other people. Uh, we get that rolling. While that's going on, the TikTok starts, and then it's pure fucking madness from there. So, yeah, let's do this. I got a call concept. Don't know if it'll work because I don't know if landscapers are still open right now, but hopefully I'm calling the right area to make that work. Other than that, oh, yeah, hey, before we get going, just to let everybody know, per use, the show is brought to you by Mitra 9, baby. That's right, Mitra 9. You could be as chaotic, tired, and frustrated as the graveyard goons. That's right, I'm joking, just the fun parts. Uh, if you want to be hopped up or let down, and I don't mean negatively, I mean <laughs> get melted into the couch, baby. We've got the uh, the Kratom uh, drinks. These are the ones that we're drinking right now. And we also have the Kava drinks, which are the ones that we're going to be drinking here in a bit. And uh, one brings you up. One just simmers you the fuck out, like unlike anything you've ever had before. And I mean that. I'm not joking. I've done pretty much everything under the sun. So. And you've talked quite a bit. I have. And <laughs> so, you can you can thank Mitra 9 for that. Uh, Tony fact. said do Christopher walking for like 10 seconds. Two little mice fell into a bucket of cream. The first quickly gave up and drowned. The second swam till he turned that cream into butter. <laughs> and today, I am that second mouse. All right, let's go. We're going to call a landscaping company. We're going to go live on the Tiki. What's up, Onion? Onion. Onion. What up? Let me get a real quick head count. Cry Fox Milk Box are up in the prank cast, prankcast.com. If y'all don't know, we're also live on that. It is just... Parkman, you missed that one. Uh, oh, I missed that? Oh, I apologize, Parkman. Uh, so, yeah, prank cast is simply a website where people do live prank calls. That is, That's all that's going on on that website. For the most part, there's music shows and that stuff, but it was built for prank calls. So prankcast.com, if you guys are interested, it's an audio only, but it's a really fun time. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Let's get into this. 
Here we go. Yeah. I'm traumatized with TikTok after last night. I'm I like know. hesitating to hit the fucking button. Daphne, it's calls from the grave. All one thing. Yes. Like this. Here. Definitely send that to me, Miranda. And holy shit, dude, that message you sent. Oh my God, that's fucking scary. Here we go. Hi, yeah, I just had a question for you about the lawn care. Sure. Okay, so you guys have been cutting my grass for a little bit now, and it's usually a very nice job, and I don't have any complaints, no complaints here about the grass. It's just the guy that was cutting my grass, I was wondering if I could maybe get his phone number. This is J this is Jason. I'm sorry, who? Jason Samuel. Jason Samuel. Yeah, I just Where's your property at? Yeah, well it's right off Main Street and I was just calling because he was out there cutting my grass the other day and you know, he was doing just as good of a job as he always does, but when he left my house for whatever reason, I noticed in the yard the the patterns that he was using to cut kind of looks like shapes and stuff do you guys usually do like grass drawings or anything like that i guess i'm not sure who you are <laughs> can i ask what jason um, said i'm not I said, sure what property this is yeah well it's actually my son that owns it and i don't know if you have his name or his wife's name because she actually owns the house as well I just stay here. I was just outside staring at that man mowing the grass. And boy, was I getting, you know, he's a fine young gentleman. But regardless of any of that, I just noticed that he was making pictures with the grass mower. And it kind of looked like, I'm not. you know, well, I'll just explain it to you. There were two cylinder shapes at the bottom and a long shaft going all the way across the front yard. Okay, what kind of joke is this? It's a peen joke. Uh-huh, and, and who's calling? Uh, it's going to be rapper, actor, model, a uh, little pee-pee. Yeah, what you doing? How you doing today? You know it's me, girl. That's the motherfucking pay, -pay. You know it, and we're talking about it. And she's gone, and she's Thanks. gone. Thanks. Yeah. Spacey Danks, I'm so glad you made it over to the YouTube. That's what's Yo, up. Yo, what up, Spacey Danks? How y'all living tonight? If you guys want us to prank call somebody for you, send it in. You know how it is. You know what this show is. If you don't, we're a live prank call show. What up, Bagel? What up, Suki? What up, Skylar? How are you doing? Oh, yeah, baby. All right. We should try um, to do Spacey Dink's Percy Jackson call again. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's get Spacey up and running, baby. Spacey Dink. Did Dines. we change the... Um, yes. Okay. Neat. We certainly did. Okay, I'm going to find your number, Spacey Danks. Uh, Where the fuck is it? Yeah, what's up, y'all? Let's let's get it popping. When I type in Danks, nothing pops up, and yeah. I don't know why. How do you spell Spacey? S P mm -hmm. A C E Y. I tried that. Yeah, nothing. I don't know what the book. Oh, uh, let me look it up. Spacey Danks, uh, resend your number in. Just do that. It'll, it'll float up to the top of our list, and it'll just make things a little easier. Bagel. Bagel, thank you for coming on to the dark side. We freaking love you. And yes, Moon do. as well. Um, if you're on TikTok right now, if you could just tap the crap out of the screen for us because we haven't gone live on this uh, TikTok account in a, a little bit. So we might be climbing an uphill battle here. A little bit, yeah. The more you tap the screen, the more it'll push us out in front of more people. Um Let's see. So we've got a number right here from Tucker. Tucker, shout out for sending a number right off the bat. He sent this in about an hour before we were live. His name is MJ, and he is my brother. He plays a game called Rainbow Six and thinks he is better than me. Can you please say that your Ubisoft support and you got the request to remove his account? Okay. You know that company? You 
U- Ubisoft or it's whatever. It's like the Rainbow Siege 6. Yeah, they make the game. Isn't it like from a Tom Clancy book or some shit? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So you can take that wherever you'd like. Um, all right. I don't even know how to say the company's name. You, Here. I thought it was it Unisoft. But I thought it was too. Let's see. Unisoft. Um, U B I. Oh yeah, Ubisoft. 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 Ubisoft, boy. Yo, thanks, Trey. That would mean the world to us. You shit. Yo, thank you. Ubisoft. 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 Ubisoft is <laughs> shit, dude. All right, let's wing it down at Lusby. If you got a number, send it in. Calls from the grave at gmail.com, baby. Hello, MJ? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, this is Rebecca, and I'm from Ubisoft, and I am actually calling to let you know um, that we got a request to remove your account. I guess you've been causing some trouble on um, Rainbow Six recently. Can you hear me? No. Oh, you want me to repeat that? Are you okay? Oh, my God. What the hell? So lame. <laughs> also, please, no children. No children. Yo, oh, my God. Alexandra, Alexandra. Spacey, baby. Thank you. Thank you so much for that cash app. We have had quite the day. Yeah, it's true. And yeah. you did not have to send that. We just wanted you to resend the Percy Jackson thing, but you are a baddie. So thank yeah. you for that. You are awesome. Thank you. Did I get a hold of Sir Percy Jackson? I think I did, and I botched the call. Yeah, I think they hung up like immediately, just like that person did, and I really wish that uh, that would have worked out better. All right, you want to do Percy Jackson? Uh, sure, show me the thing, though. Okay, so... Uh, he loves Percy Jackson and Greek mythology in general. He likes anime specifically. I have no idea what that is. Roby? Ruby? Ah! And okay. My Hero Academia. Some nerd shit. Percy. Oh, right. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Oh, no. We shall try again, my friends. Ah, 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 ah. Yo, hit that like if you guys are having fun. Yeah. I mean, we got like. Yo, thanks, Trey. You to she. You rock, dude. Thank you. Come on, baby, baby. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic. It's okay. She sent another number. Okay. Let's try to call one of her other numbers. I think numbers. there's several there. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, also, this is Percy's number. I think we just tried that. Uh, no, we didn't. Oh, it was off by one digit. Okay, so oh, let's try. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, taken by the best said, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to your link tree and show my boyfriend those drinks. Get you some. Get you some. Look, we got a um, we got a coupon code if you're interested. It takes 20% off your entire order. Creepy with a K and an I. We'll Mantra type it in. Are nine. you watching on TikTok? Yeah, I got it. Okay, she's going to type it in there for y'all. All right, here we go. Percy Jackson. We're sorry. Oh, that ain't it. I think I did have the uh, the number right the first time. I think you typed it in right the first dup, time. Dup, dup. Uh, this is Dave. He's a construction and general blue-collar supply salesman and is pretty close to the top of his company. He has two sons and is diabetic. He lives in Michigan and has two very ca- fat cats named Rosie and Cooper. Okay, that's pretty great. All right, my love. You want this? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Okay, no. this is Dave. Okay, he works construction. You don't have to repeat it and uh, bore the shit out of everyone. Oh, Thank my you. God. No, I'm not saying that for you. I'm saying that for them. Chill. Stop taking everything so personal. God damn. <laughs> yeah, you want to try something? I might. Because you know I'd win. I'm trying to get another TikTok. <laughs> oh. That's one way to do it. 
All right. Sweet. Don't leave this page. Thank you for calling MSC Industrial Supply. Oh, shit. Dave, All right. you're a turd. Dave, come on. We're going to try again. Try again, Dave. Let me just check your if camera. If he doesn't answer, we're calling a business real quick. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you, Cry Fox. I'm sorry I missed that. <laughs> Hi, this is Dave. Hi, Dave. Yeah, this is Rebecca. Do you remember? Yeah, hi, Rebecca. Um, yeah, uh, am I bothering you? No, I, I, I don't. Rebecca, who? Yeah, so um, your company that you work for was uh, doing some construction on my house, and no, nope, you got the wrong. You got the wrong number. H how do I have the wrong number? Because I got your number from the company. Like what? Because I. Because I don't do any construction at all. That doesn't sound factual. You're the guy that has, like, the two kids, and I think you told me that you're, like, diabetic, right? Oh, shit, honey. Okay, so he doesn't do construction. He sells construction equipment. He's a constru... Oh, I see that now. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's all good. Spacey Danks, you know what? We'll We'll call another one for you. Sorry about that. Sometimes it's hard to fucking decipher shit in the moment. Or but just that's okay. see because the screen is like far as fuck away. Yeah, one day we're going to have enough money to save up for new equipment. That's for show. Sure. Mm. All right, let's call a pizza place. Pizza. You want Pizza Hut? Yep. All right, Pizza Hut. We'll do one and let's go to this state. How's everybody doing tonight? Yo. Is Woe there in the house? I don't know there. Woe there, my boy. Are you in here, bro? Miss you, man. Hell yeah. Thanks, Trey. You Pizza rock. Hut. Bagel, you rock. Thank Moon. you for calling Pizza Hut. All calls All are recorded you. for quality assurance. Said, este siendo grabado por su calidad. I just want to say hi. Thank you for choosing Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. Para ayuda en español, por favor, o prima nueve. Mm. If you would like to place an order, please press <coughs> 1 that. to make changes to your current order. All calls are recorded for quality assurance. Well, there said, just got back home. Nice. You just wanted to say hi? Yeah. Thank you for calling Pizza Hut. My name is Ethel. I see you are calling from 304 <laughs> All right. Damn, what a dummy. <laughs> We've <laughs> never had anybody do that before. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's fine. Sorry. That's oh, fine. you didn't miss much while there. We were just rambling on per usual. Yeah, we were rambling. We were ranting at the it beginning was, of the RJ, episode. RJ mostly. I'm Danielle sure. was pretty much ranting at the beginning of the episode. Sounds about wrong. Yeah, for no reason. No point to it. Thank you for choosing. RJ takes everything that. personally. But Danielle kind of takes it. everything po personally. <laughs> Poison. Poisonally. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> if you would like to place an order, what do you Bugs Bunny do? To make changes yeah. to your current. Yeah. Ah, get, 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 get. Is that bugs? All calls are recorded for quality assurance. He has Popeye. I haven't seen this shit since I was like 10. Thank you for calling Pizza Hut. My name is Lupe. Hi. And I see you're calling. I don't from... do that. No, you don't, no, you don't no. have to do that. You don't have to no, do no, that. No, you, don't, you don't need you to don't, do that. Just don't read it out loud. I know what my number is. Everything's fine. Okay. I just really wanted to order a pizza from Pizza Nut. All right, and is this a delivery or a carry-out? It's a pickup for delivery. Oh, I'm sorry, a pickup or a delivery? It's a pickup for delivery. Uh, you know? So it's a pickup, right? Uh, yeah, yep, it is, but it's also a delivery, and um, I'll pick it up and, de and you deliver, right? What do you... Um, I'm sorry. Am I confusing you? I feel like um, I'm, I'm being pretty clear here. 
So yeah. it's a pickup, right? So yeah, so I will pick it up and then you'll deliver it. That's what the other pizza nut did. All right, so what would you like? I would like a pizza, a large um, pizza with extra nut. No, we don't have nuts. No, last time I got cashews and a little bit of the special sauce, so I think you um, might be mistaken. Are you new here? No, ma'am, we don't have nuts here. You don't have what? Nuts. This is pizza nut. Pizza nut has nuts, like pine, no, this, pine nuts, pumpkin seeds, pizza hut. cashews, peanuts. This is not pizza nut. Walnuts. This is pizza hut. Pecans or pecans, however you say it. You know? Why are you so mad at me? No, what I mean is that this is pizza hut, not pizza nut. Well, I gotta let you know that the service here has really gone downhill, and I, I feel like you're getting a little aggressive with me. I just want a fucking pizza, man. Why are you gaslighting me? Hello? So, what do you, what do you want? Pizza nut. You know, the special one. Alright, for that, ma'am. Is it... Hmm? Just... Um, as I mentioned, we don't have pizza nut. Mm. I'm so thrown off right now. So, this is pizza nut. So for that, you guys okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna go ahead and transfer you to our manager. That just hang fine. up. Just hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? I think we should stay on. Oh man, this is a Bop. Oh, never mind. As soon as they heard us both talking, they were like, this is a prank call. All right. What's up, TikTok? What's up, YouTube? What's up, prank cast? That's right. We are multi-streaming across three different mm. services right now. Uh, somebody just sent in a number, and we're going to call it. That's how this show works. If you have a number, send it in. Call us from the grave at gmail.com. This is our backup account, TikTok. Uh, our regular account is just Graveyard Goons, baby. Do -de -do. Do -de -do -do -do. And so we're struggling a little bit as far as numbers go tonight, but that's okay. We will pick it up. And if all else fails, we've got... Yo, yo thank, thank you, you Trey. Trey. You rock, man. Do -de -do -do -do. If all else fails, we've got a million businesses across this great country. We can call it any time. Call this number. It's a place called King Taste, and they sell tacos and burritos, uh, too. Just tell them you want to place an order. Okay. All right, I got it. Pretty easy, easy enough request. You're awesome, Trey. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, dude. Thank and you. Thank you, Bagel. And Spacey Tags, thank you as well. Hello, is this the taco place? Taco? Yes, is it, you guys sell the tacos? Yes. Okay, what kind of tacos you got? Uh, you was recommended to me and I just want to give me some tacos. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It just felt right in the moment. I don't know. I don't know what the hell it was. All right, no numbers right now. Spacey Danks, we will go back to you. Let's try to get somebody on the phone for you, homie. Um, let's see. Actually, don't call that number. Uh, this is Cambry. I think we called Cambry last night. Percy. Uh, Jason. Oh, your dad, Jason. I think we tried to call him last night. He works at a casino. Wait, no, I think we... Yeah, we called him, right? I think we definitely called him. Uh, Dawson, he's a 25-year-old man. He's ginger. Uh, okay, I like this. I like this one. I love calling gingers. Yeah, baby. Yeah, let's go, baby. Calling the ginger, baby. I don't know if it's working either, but it's fun. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> We're just spamming the chat with nonsense. Yeah, what the fuck? My, uh, our computer is so full right now, it's not even letting me copy and paste this number. Come on, doggy. Roll that, damn, that, roll that damn ass tide out here. Roll that beautiful bean footage. What? <laughs> I used to be obsessed with the word gnarly. I don't know why. Hell yeah, dude. When I was like 14. Your call has been forwarded to an autom- You know what? Mm-hmm. Me too. It was Me too. My AOL screen name had gnarly in it. It was a great word. <laughs> too bad they canceled it. Rude. As. Fuck. Roll Tide. Come on, Dawson. Answer. I got a great concept. Why are you pushing me, huh? Your call has been for... No. Okay, let's try again. Here we go. We're going to call somebody else for Spacey. Uh, this is the at-home store in Tulsa. Uh, the store director is named Chris, and the store manager is Ruthie. I can probably tell you who picks up the phone. Okay, what is it, though? It's. Um, Thank you so much, Trey. You are amazing. This is the at-home store. Okay, so I'm assuming they sell furniture and shit. You know what? For real, you're under a tornado watch, and you were... Protecting your dog and kids. Is everything okay? Oh, my okay? God, dude. What? And Holy you're watching shit. our crazy-ass show right now? Yeah, turn this off and just seek shelter, please. If yeah. that's the case, I'm worried about you. Yeah, homie. Home decor. Home decor. Okay, I got something for that if they'll pick up. For whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be connecting. Yeah, what the fuck is going that's on? That's weird. Try to put, uh, put, put a one. In. Let me see. Maybe take those... Yeah. Here. Let me try take this all, first. Take all that, I'm going to try this yeah. first, though. Let's see. It might work. Home decor. LOL. Okay, here. I will, uh, I'll I'll just type it in manually. Trey said, I'd watch you a while in a tornado. That's Man. crazy. Oh, my God. It, it passed over. Are you okay? Everything's good? Like it went over your house, for real? Uh, Spacey, for whatever reason, this number for the home decor place is not the work. And yo, Christine, thank Christine, you. Oh my goodness. Uh, Spacey, feel thank free to you. send another number. Christine with the twenty dollars cash and app. Bagel are the oh best. Oh my god, thank you guys so much, man. Uh, my friend Maggie recently got into a verbal fight with one of her neighbors. He was mad. She was driving in the water because he thought it would get flooded. She called him a genocide supporter and at night ended up cutting up his Israeli flag he had outside. Oh my God, dude. Holy shit. A nosy neighbor named Jeff asked about it after, but she said, mind your business. Shit was wild. <sighs> but you can call as a neighbor asking about it or whatever you want to do. This is amazing, yeah. Christine. Five stars. Yo, your friend Maggie's fucking unhinged. Let's go. Holy Love shit, this. Wizard of Oz moment and a touchdown near my friend's house. Hey, Maggie? Hello? Hey, Maggie, what's up? This is Jeffrey. I'm your neighbor. I live down the street. I, look, I was just calling because I know that you two had, like, a dispute and all that, but, like, I, I just got to ask you straight up. Did, did you cut up that Israeli flag? She hung up immediately after you said that. Let's call back. What? I'm going to be like, you can't run from this, Maggie. Moon's head. I don't know how you got my number, but don't call me ever again. Well, I mean, you're the one cutting up people. What? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, is that the person that I called before? And like, I can't remember the whole scenario. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, oh man. man. Um. Okay. So... Wait, what happened? What would you whisper in my ear? That is the person I called. Holy crap, we probably freaked her out two times now. Are you serious? Yeah. What happened? I don't remember. I called her like, I don't know, two or three weeks ago or something. I don't remember 
the call at all because I can't remember anything anymore, it seems. But, yeah, she, it was a whole situation and, like, I think she... Oh, I remember she took some shit from Walmart. Oh, thank you, Trey. Oh, my God, yes, yes. it's that lady. Moon said, yeah, the eyelash extension stuff. Oh, my God, yeah, that was her... <laughs> Yo, holy <laughs> thank shit. Thank you, Trey. You're the best. Trey, thank you so much. Oh, my God, Christine. Christine, send us another number. We're happy to call. That just reminded me of something, and then it went out of my head immediately. Um, you guys are awesome, though. Thank you. She just texted me. Oh, my <laughs> God. What did she say? Holy crap. Did, did she ever find out that you gave us her number? <laughs> Trey, your friend said, what did you invite me to? <laughs> Oh, dude, what's up, Trey's friend? We're a live prank call group. We will prank call your friends, and tonight is a very slow night. So if you have a number, send it on over, and chances are you will get a call. Well, whoa there, that's not a great review, but I'm glad you listened to it. At least she's getting the view count up. Who? What? Peggy. Peggy? Her special. Oh. Wasn't a fan? Oh, he said I don't recall it. <laughs> oh. Not. Nah, it's cool. I Made know an impact. I probably listened to a lot of shit, though, so... Uh, this is so boss. Yes, that's his name. This so boss. Uh, he's a high school English teacher and color guard coach. He has like five kids and his wife's name is Ashley. Most people assume he's hey before learning he has a wife. Okay. He is a English teacher. Okay. I got it. I got this. Here we go. Let's get it. different ring bit of a different yo jerry Ooh. and that's awesome i'm glad you got your box yeah i put um one of marvel's old toys in there for you it's Hell like a, yeah. a little ufo sun thing i think but thanks for stopping by yeah thank you jerry and i hope you love your box enjoy all your stuff come on baby pick up the fucking phone baby <gasps> yo, Trey, Trey. thank you thank you bro my goodness thank you man i'm gonna pee i pee so much she be peeing y'all i hope i'm okay boss hello hey what's going on boss how you doing i'm good hey this is jeffrey i'm whitaker's dad i look i was just calling because like he keeps coming home from school and he keeps saying that like you're not really, I don't know. The kid is getting dumber and dumber as the day grows thin. And I'm just wondering what, you, what you're what you teaching these kids. Because, I mean, this this one is, I don't know. I don't know what to do with him. Who's Whitaker? Yeah, he's my son. Look, I've got five kids. And this one, for whatever reason, dumb as a box of rocks. I keep giving them the different teachers. And he keeps coming back home. I swear to God, I think they're unlearning as ABCs. So what what do you recommend for a father trying to get his son not to be such a dumb dumb all the time. I don't have a student whose last name's Whitaker. No, his first name's Whitaker. I don't have a student whose first name is Whitaker. Well, I mean, that's odd because the school gave me your number to call and discuss this with. So I don't know what's happening here, but Well my, student, my school wouldn't have given you my personal cell phone number. Well who the hell did I call then? Somebody gave it to me. I have no idea. Well, what hour does your son have me in? What hour does he? Uh, second. Oh, and S what class do I teach? English. Okay. Yeah, no. What is I, he working on in that class right now? Uh, I'll tell you what he's not working on. The kid comes home every day, and he's trying to be a rapper. Now he wants this kid wants to be a rapper now, and he's writing all these goddamn songs in the middle of the night. And so my thing was, when I heard these songs, I was like, is your English teacher teaching you this? And then I called the school, and then they gave me your number. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. Listen to this. This is crazy. Yeah, you know me, baby, coming on. And I'm in the class, baby, and I'm just showing off my shins. And they looking at me real hard and real fine, son. Because I am the best. I'm the best, best one. I'm the coolest student in the fucking school. And I'm telling everybody what you're going to do. Cool, yeah, because I'm so cool. I'm so hot, I'm saying what you're gonna do. 
now he's yeah. playing this rap song. Yeah, so that's that's the shit that my son is is doing, and I'm just like, I don't know what to do with this kid, man. Sounds like some pretty creative writing with some musical skills, which is cross curricular. So I don't really have a problem with it. Yeah, but Who I mean, do you? do you hear the lyrics? The lyrics are fucking ridiculous, man. I don't know what to do. Here's another one. Yeah, coming at you, girl. What you gonna do when I'm coming inside and I'm looking well, at you? Called, and I like, poop my little dookie and I do it every well, right. And I do the on my butt and I do the all night. I'm saying fart, 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 fart and a booty. Don't you know, gotta fart, cause it's duty booty boo, and I'm gonna be so fruity booty duty fruity, and I ain't even talking Real about fart. James Brown and booty. Three, seven, zero. I mean, it's insane. Three, seven, one, seven. So, I, okay. don't, I don't know what to do with the kid, man. I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, if he's not your student, I guess I'm talking to the wrong person to begin with. Probably. All right, man. Well, thanks. Thanks you for your help. You call his counselor at the school or maybe his administrator. I mean, honestly, he wants me to call a record executive. He's trying to get signed. He's got this bullshit on SoundCloud. Do you know what SoundCloud is? Oh, absolutely. You should do it. He sounds really talented. You think that I should encourage this kid to keep doing this? I think we should always encourage children to seek out the pathways that speak to them. Well, you because know what? Because I don't believe my job ends with just my content area, and obviously he has some musical talent. I mean, he wrote all those beats by himself and everything, so the kid's doing something right. I just, I don't understand it, man. I'm from a different generation, you know. I like Nirvana growing up. This shit is like brain rot to me. I don't know what to do with you it. You know, I'm a Red Hot Chili Peppers kind of guy. You know, maybe oh, hell yeah. Pumpkins, but Give I it away, down. baby. Give it away now. Uh -huh. Love it. Yeah, dude. I'm a vampire. Yeah, I know that. Well, I hope you find who, what English teacher he belongs to. Unfortunately, it's not me. All right, well, I'll keep calling around. Somebody's got to be the one teaching this kid something. I don't know. Maybe I should thank the guy. Somebody. I don't know, man. I don't know. He's crazy. He's absolutely crazy. Listen to this one. What you gonna do when I'm coming in and out and I'm doing it to you, baby? And I'm gonna wipe my booty real quick, cause my booty is holy. And it's kind of slick, saying, booty, booty, girl, what you doing? And now I'm gonna rub my booty hole in your eyeballing. And we gonna go to the dance, and I'm gonna put my booty in my fucking pants, baby. Ooh, I'm pooping, I'm pooping on the run. I poop when I go to work, I'm pooping on the thigh. Baby, ooh, I'm pooping, I'm pooping on the run. I'm pooping when I go to work, I'm pooping on the thigh. Baby, ooh, I'm pooping, I'm pooping on the run. I'm pooping when I go to work, I'm pooping on the thigh. Baby, ooh, I'm pooping, I'm pooping on the run. I'm pooping when I go to work, I'm pooping on the thigh. Baby, ooh, I'm pooping, I'm pooping on the run. I'm pooping when I go to work, I'm well, you know, everybody poops, so, you know. Maybe this could be the song. I really that... wish I knew who Whitaker was. I would, I'd love to meet his English teacher. Teachers' jobs are hard these days. It sounds like somebody's doing some really good work with me. You know what, man? If we all poop, maybe that'll be the thing that brings us all together as a country. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't I understand don't it. I just don't understand poop it. Poop is fun. What can I say? Yeah. Well, thank you for your help, man. I appreciate it. You're a good dude, and uh, have a great night. You too. All right, man. Good night. <laughs> you laughed at the phone. <laughs> I didn't mean to. She went, hmm. I thought it was over. <laughs> I'm writing down a name for you to use. I don't poop. I know what this guy, I don't know what this guy's talking about. Yeah, I mean, who's out here really pooping, y'all? This is crazy. Don't say it yet. It's too fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, baby. Um,. Oh, Trey, thank you so much. Dude, Trey with the <laughs> eyes, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah, thank dude. You. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, Spacey Danks. You're awesome. It's going to take a while to get like this backup account where it needs to be. You know, it's just going to take a while, but we'll get there, folks. Oh, you all in the chat are so sweet. You're being all sweet to each other. Thank Yo, you, Cheyenne. Thank you, Shy yeah. Shy. Anti Shy That's Shy. That's a different Cheyenne. Oh, yeah. Well, you're shy, shy now too, Cheyenne. Anti shy, shy. <laughs> we have a friend named Cheyenne. That's what we call her. Anti shy, shy. Also, I don't know how people get into like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. All their songs sound exactly the same, and they're all about California. Yo, thank you for the donut. Thank Woo! you. So for that to be like your favorite band, ugh. 
Trey, I got to say, last night with all those gifts that you were sending, man, that was either our most or second most successful TikTok night as far as gift goes. And it's it's all thanks to you, man. So thank you. Cheyenne dude. said, Shy Shy is my nickname, LOL. Well, are you serious? That's cool. Anti Shy Shy. Uh, okay, so you're going to call Alyssa. She just applied to a job in Tennessee. Ask her all the Yo, thanks for the duck. Yo, that's ducking awesome, dude. Thank You're you. You're cool, Trey. Yeah, thank you, Trey. You guys are great, man. Uh, okay, so uh, Alyssa just applied for a job in Tennessee. Uh, you're going to pretend to be the interviewer and ask her off the wall questions. Right. I don't know what job it was, but um, Vagel, if you're watching, what job did she what's apply the for? Job? What's the job? What, what's man? the job? What's the job, buddy? Jason, yeah, the poop will bring us together. Fuck yeah, dude. Poop I've been saying that forever. will bring us together. Uh, radiation therapy. Cool. What? Okay. Here we go. Let's go back to the thing, please. Quite the job. Alyssa, I'm going back to it. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying... We shall try again. Christine, what do you think your boy thought about that call? Good old boss. That was yours, right, Christine? has been forwarded Dang, to voicemail yeah. all right let's see if we don't have okay we don't have any numbers as of right now y'all so we're gonna call it business my love what kind of business would you like to call you can pick from any business in standing the US. on business stand on business out um there. you could do a man what what kind of business do you guys want to see us call how about we go that route somebody yesterday had a really good print I think it was you. You had a really good idea yesterday, and I can't remember what it was. I thought maybe I wrote it down. Yeah, let me look in our email. Call, oh, call Walmart. Call Walmart? Yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. Beautiful cover girl. Let's do it. There we go. We're going to get a Wally World on the phone, y'all. I'm already starving. Walmart. We drink all these drinks every night, and then we exert all this energy. And as soon as we get off air, we are famished, y'all. Like, and then I just eat until four in the morning. The dumbest shit. Pizza, donuts, candy. I, I gotta chill. It's too much. Then I wake up the next day still feeling hungry because I eat all that sugary bullshit. What? What the fuck? Walmart hung up on us. Absolutely not. Yeah, so we can't go live on our main account for a week, which sucks, but... Well, they said don't call Walmart. They transfer you immediately to a phone that doesn't answer. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Really? We, we called a couple weeks ago. And it worked. forward to the opportunity to serve you in our stores. Stop yelling at me. Trey, thank you one. so much yeah. for the chili peppers. Press three. For online pickup and delivery orders. Press four. For electronics. Press 5 for Fresh Bakery. I always try electronics for whatever reason. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe somebody will answer. I've got good vibes, y'all. I've got good vibes. Taken by the best. That sucks. I'm sorry. You can send something here, like a bigger gift here. What happened? They can't use Cash App. Oh, I get it. It's all good. It got hacked. Fuck, dude. What's up, kitty? Hi. But if you want, just send a number. You don't even have to pay. Yeah, you don't. You don't. It's basically a free night for now, so you're good. We might restart the live. Yes, we might restart the live. All right, well, there was absolutely right. Uh, let's see. Any numbers in this piece? He's probably nope. shaking his head right now. I know. I fucking told He's you like, guys. Fucking idiots. What the <laughs> fuck? I told you guys. All right, let's do. You want to do a restaurant? We could do a Dollar General. Um, we could do a skate shop. We've never called a skate shop, have we? I'm sure we have. 
Six we've been doing this job. for six years. Probably. Six and a half, but who's counting? <laughs> you are always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with time, y'all. In a very unhealthy way, I'm obsessed with time. Print, right. Call who and ask them how you can download more RAM. Who do you want us to call? Call a gas station in Alabama and open the call with Roll Tide. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Here we go. Gas station, Alabama. Dude, you know they're going to be like down with this. But hell yeah, man. The game was on yesterday. I don't even know what sport Roll Tide's from. I assume football. Sounds like a very football type vibe. Oh, Kitty, you you aren't following this account? I get it. It's kind of confusing to have two yeah. accounts. And sorry that you're not a mod on this one. Um, we, we will make you one. We rush modded people. Neighborhood. Roll Tide. Huh? I said Roll Tide. Roll Tide? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's an old tire. Old tire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get a different one. Ooh, that let's was weak sauce. That was fucking funny, though. Yo, what? What's another electronic store type of deal? Best Buy. Best Buy, yeah, which also usually happens to be the worst. Aren't they buy. like out of business? Yeah, I don't know. Isn't almost everything like that out of business now? Do a small town. A small town. Small town. Small town Best Buy. All right, we'll look for one. For whatever reason, this call is not going through. It's all good. We got more numbers. That's the beautiful part about living in this country and having access to the Internet. You can look up anybody's fucking number as a business, and there are a shit ton of them. We got to do an old school Harry Potter laser pointer call tonight. We have not done a laser pointer call in forever. Oh, yeah. This is a roll tide, though. We have Google Maps up. Call Bucky's. Bucky's. Is right. there is there an Alabama Bucky's? They know what the fuck roll tide is. I'm sorry, the party you are trying to reach. Yep. I thought like we went to Bucky's one time. I think I was so underwhelmed and overwhelmed at the same time. We've been there a few times now. Maybe twice. And I love it. I think it's killer. It's the like the Walmart the food of gas stations. It's like everything that causes cancer, for sure. And it looked, to it like everything in there to me was like Bass Pro Shop dollar store. Yeah, a little bit. Here we go. Let's call Bucky's. Same with the people in there. Beautiful Thank stuff. you for calling Bucky's. For any comments, concerns, or questions, visit www.buckies.com. Thank you for calling Bucky's. <laughs> for any comments, concerns, or questions, visit www.buckies.com. Thank you. Oh my God, Bucky's won't let you call. It's okay. We're gonna do a restaurant. Sorry um, for the slowness, call guys. Best Buy. Best Buy. In like. In the West Coast. In the West. Okay. We will go to... Uh, Just in Texas and Tennessee. I missed himself. Oh, Radio Shack. Are they still around? I thought they closed all their stores. I could be wrong. Called though. Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Yeah. Let me pull that one out. Uh, we could 100% get Jennifer Lopez's number with enough time for sure. Not us, but we have people that'll do it, and they're great, and they're, I don't know how they do it. Thanks for calling Best Buy and Clackamas. Ah. To hear when the store is open, say store hours. Um, operator. Can I get the phone number? Sorry, if you have a... <laughs> Sorry, let's go on. If you... I hate you. I understand you want to speak with someone. Our Best Buy team members are specialized in different areas. To get you to the right person as fast as possible, please tell me a little more about what you need help with. Stuff. Computers. Electronics. Computer, sure. Mm -hmm. Did you already buy it? Yes. 
Which of these six options are you calling about? An existing order, buying an item, credit card, tech support and repair, yeah, return. Yeah, tech support and repair. Have you dropped off your product at the store? No, dummy. If your product is at the store, say yes. Otherwise, say no. No. Just a minute. You're pissing me off, bitch. Yeah, motherfucker, what you gonna do tonight? <laughs> because I'm coming in. Need tech in, huh? support for your computer or tablet? Chat online with the Geek Squad Ugh. agent right now. That's right. Geek Squad agents are standing by to assist you with all your technical issues. So am Just I. Just go to GeekSquad.com and click on Chat with an Agent. Dude, this is infuriating. Straight up. Our Geek Squad agents will be happy to offer assistance to help you resolve your issue. Hmm. In the event that we are not able to resolve this issue together in the moment, our knowledgeable agents will recommend additional service options that will ensure your computer needs are addressed. This is customer service in 2024. It really is. And in person, Your call may it's be worse. monitored <laughs> or recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. All agents are busy at this time. Oh my God, Please dude! Hold. Well, they said Best Buy had a big wave of layoffs this month. Yeah, we can tell. We can tell. Don't get us kicked off of YouTube. We might get demonetized because of this fucking song. Uh, I'm pulling out. Cool. That was that was too much. I'm pull not out doing game that. Game week. All right, here we go. I'm gonna actually pull something out of the bone bowl. Uh. Let's go. Let's go. We got some. We shit tried. In here. This is the bone <laughs> bowl, guys. We used to use this every episode religiously. But basically, anytime we have two or more missed calls, I shake up this uh, little skull here, and she puts her tiny little hands in, and she picks out a number from across the U.S. that's more or less obligated to pick up the phone. So, let's get it. There you go. Okay. What is it? Car wash. Car wash. All right. You down? Mm-hmm. You dig? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do it, my love. Yeah, Danielle and I used to prep heavily for this show. I mean, hours and hours before we would go live. We'd have these crazy list of numbers and all that, but then TikTok kind of changed a lot of that for us because we were getting numbers from you guys, like, out of control. So, Thank you. Enjoy. Hi, yeah, so I got my car washed there, and the guy broke my windshield wiper. Uh, when did you get it washed? Um, I think it was a few days ago, but I just realized it was broken because I got I had to use the window cleaner stuff in my car, and the wiper just flew off, and then it hit somebody's windshield and broke it. And, like, we were going really fast down the highway, and now I have to pay for the windshield, too. Gotcha. And so you went to our town location or Copper Lake? The town location. And I'm just, like, really upset because, nope, like, I called before and nobody's taking responsibility. You you called this number before? I'm pretty sure it was this number, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, this number, I, the only reason why I ask is because um, I answer this. The nobody else has this number. Oh. So this is the first experience. Um, so yeah, what kind of vehicle was it? It was a um a Toyota Tacoma. And like, is it how many people is it that wash the cars? They have four guys employed at that location. And which one's the amateur? Which one, amateur? Yeah, like I think it was the newest one because I think he was telling me that he just recently had started. And if, if like, he can't figure it out, like, breaking windshield wipers, like, it's 2024. Things are so expensive right now. Like, I can't even barely afford to eat food. I I completely understand. Uh, most of the guys... Dude. You, you want to shine... And on the town location? I don't know what is going on with your phone, but it sounds like you're talking through a computer or something. Oh, no, it's just my cell phone. Oh. Well, it seems like you have but, uh, a bad signal. Yeah. Oh. 
Maybe if you throw your phone in the bathtub, it'll work better. Because uh, sounds like it went through a a wash cycle in the laundry. Like you left it in your pocket or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's pretty fucking sick, dude. I honestly can't hear anything you're saying. Okay, so if you'd like to come down to our location and we can take a look at it. Um, Pat can take a look at it tomorrow. Amazing how it just started working all of a sudden. Wow, that was incredible. It's like you teleported to a place where you had signal or something. Gotcha. Yeah, so if you'd like to bring the vehicle down to our town location and ask for Pat, we can see what we can't do tomorrow because they're closed today. You're going to see what you can't do tomorrow? Is that what you said? No, what we can't. No, what we can do tomorrow. So if you can bring it down, show us what happened, bring it to where you got it washed, and then we'll see what we can't do. What? Because it's closed today. Why do you? So keep, nobody's there. Is this like a, a a game or something? You keep saying we'll see what we can't do, and I'm very confused by that. No, I'm saying what if you can bring the vehicle down there, we'll see what we can, can. do. Okay. C A N do. I like can. Um, okay. So I'm going to need a new oh. windshield wiper, maybe two, because when I turned it on, the other one got all janky, too. And um, I don't understand why you're getting mad at me about this, because, like, I didn't ask for this to happen. No, no, no. I'm not, a, I'm not at all. Uh, I... Not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we want to take care of you. So if you need a couple windshield wipers, just come down and see us tomorrow. We're just not there today. Oh, you sound frustrated, but look, it's not just the, nope. win the windshield wiper. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Interesting, but um, yeah, it's not it's not just the windshield wiper thing. It's also the windshield that ended up breaking because my wiper flew into it. So should I bring that car too? It's not mine, but yeah, I would bring everything down tomorrow. Everything. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get a hold of that person because they are threatening me to pay for this windshield that I don't have Who? money for. Oh, the other person. Got you. Okay. And, like, I don't know if you turned, like, the volume up on your voice, but I think that's why it sounds like you're getting mad at me. It's really loud, and you're kind no, of... No, I just took it off of um, speakerphone. Oh. So it went... Now, it's not on speaker. Now I just turned it on. So now I'm talking into the handset. So, no, I'm not mad at all. Please, not even a little please, bit. Please I just would like you to come bring the vehicle down tomorrow. Sir. And we'll, we'll um, see what we can do. Sir, I... There's no need to yell. Like it's it's very loud now, and nope. I actually have autism. So okay, like, let me uh, turn it down. Sensory. Let me turn it down. Overload. Sensory. How's that? Over yeah, sensory overload. Holy shit. How's bro. that? Is that low? It's better. Yeah, for sure. Um. Okay. So Perfect. My. Ex okay, so we will see you tomorrow. Yeah, but my ex. Um, I should tell you this too because I know that they're probably gonna see this tomorrow when they check out the wiper and stuff. My ex actually put, uh -huh. um, secretion from a body, uh, into my windshield wiper fluid tank thing. He thought it was gonna be really funny, and he played this prank on me. So now there's a bunch of like, um like schmegma in my fluid tank like it's i th like clearly mer uh, mercury is in retrograde because all this um really bad stuff has been happening hey pat did you hear me is the secretion thing gonna like weird anybody out what the that's where he hung up <laughs> <laughs> i told her to ask him what's your sign yeah just fucking weird them out. Um, You're welcome, Rocky. That was fun. I I, act, I like have to be really careful about what I'm saying because we just got kicked off the tick yesterday. So, but that was fun. Yeah, and we've been kicked off the tick so many times over the last four years, five years, something like that. But now they take it really seriously. Like the violation they gave us last night, they were like, "Look, this is a warning." The next one's uh, strike your out, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's kind of scary, man. It sucks. Um, <clears throat> oh, there said I like the autism spin you did. It explains a lot of weirdness that pranks involve. Yeah, the <laughs> the um the Mercury being in retrograde. Uh, you know, when I first heard that like a decade ago, I was like, okay. Dude, I believe it. Thank you, Trey. Yo, Trey. Trey, listen, you said that you don't have money to spend, and I'm just telling you that you don't have to do that. 
Yeah, thank we you, We really man. appreciate you, though. And Spacey Dinks. Oh, thank you, Spacey Dinks. Thank you. Holy crap. All right. And uh, Trey, I see you sent another number. I got oh, you as snap. well, dog. Thank you. Big, big peachy. <gasps> Thank you, Cheyenne. Yo, Cheyenne. This is your first time here. Yeah, uh, that's really? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I think Trey invited Cheyenne. Oh, that's cool. Thank you so much. Yo, thank you very. Yo, hell yeah. Oh dude. my goodness, thank hell you. Yeah. So we um. What, dude? It's such a slow night. You guys are making it way better. Yeah. Thank you. Thank we, you very much. We usually go live on a different account. It's Graveyard Goons with a Z. So if we're not live here, you should follow our other account. So. You don't miss a live. Yeah, we're live uh, two or three times a week these days. Um, okay, so this is Victoria. She goes by Vic and is a bartender at Andaline's, a pizza place. Really likes tattoos and piercings. Okay. Hmm, what should I do with this? Your call has been forwarded. Oh, shit. To an what the fuck? Spacey Danks, I just copied and pasted your number. This happened twice tonight. Rocky, thank you so much. Schmeck my fun. Yeah. Hell yeah. You're awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you, Rocky. You Rocky rock. Um, damn. Uh, Spacey Danks, for whatever reason, this one is Yay, also thanks, not Trey. connecting. I don't know what the hell that is about. I'm yeah. Sick. Well, there you're right. Slow nights do get pretty intimate. Yeah, this is an intimate setting, y'all. I might take my socks off. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. I don't know what is going on with this number, Spacey, but I want to make it work so What's bad. up, Jessica? I'm glad you made it. Yo, welcome, Jessica. I'm going to open this kava. Yeah, okay, open it up. Uh, Spacey Danks, do me a favor. Send a new number that isn't that area code. Let me see if it's an area code issue. I don't, I don't know why it would be, but... Just trying to figure out what's going on. Young Bula, baby. Young Bula. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Trey sent us. Oh, wait. I wanted to tell Trey something really quick. Yes? Trey was talking about the two things that we consume regularly. Yes. Um, it said that kava didn't work for him when he first tried it. Oh, really? So oh, yeah. I was telling you this a little bit, but um, kava has like this reverse tolerance thing. And in the beginning, when you first start drinking it, you actually need more. And sometimes you don't feel it until the second or third time. But the best way to drink kava is to have just straight up traditional kava. And it's a little bit of work to prepare because you have to like strain it with your hands, kind of like milking a cow in water. Yeah. Um, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. Like it makes you feel so chill, so relaxed. And like, I'm not BSing you because I, had extreme like anxiety um and this stuff has freaking changed my life i quit drinking because of it and it's fucking amazing so traditional is not necessarily more concentrated because like that's what extracts are for they're they they make kava concentrate but traditional has this um this like scale it has these like really specific identifying numbers i think there's like four or five of them and that's like the cavalactone count so the one that we have is pretty high in like relaxation and um just o overall chill feelings so yeah i could get more into it but i'm not trying to bore the hell out of everyone uh yeah and we actually have some traditional kava downstairs and maybe we'll grab some later on uh but okay this one is for trey Trey, shout out. Thank you for sending us Richard's number, who loves snap-on tools. My dad also loves snap-on tools and strap-on tools. Here we go. Use the name. What name? The name I gave you. Oh, okay. Where is it? Bob. Hello? Hey, Richard. How you doing, man? I was calling. A friend of mine gave me your number, said that you were really into snap-on tools. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Yeah, dude. So I've got like a shit ton that my grandfather left me a couple years ago when he passed. And I was just wondering, like, do you do you buy ones that you already have or what? Um, I only buy the ones that I need. Um, right now, I'm not I'm not buying anything. I'm just paying off what I already owe to the truck. Oh, um, OK. Tax, tax season just hit. So I'm kind of uh, kind of holding off for right now. Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. You didn't get any of that Biden money. Do what? You didn't get any of that Biden money? 
No, I didn't get any of that, man. Damn, dude. Yeah, man, because I got these snap-on tools. I got a shit ton of them. There's nothing that you need in particular? Um, No, not off the top of my head right now that I need. I mean, I think... Like I said, I got everything that I that I need to do my job right now. So okay, yeah, it was you know my my grandpa he passed a couple years ago, Bob Blum, Blumpkin, and he um he man he loved Snap On Tools so much, and we didn't he was actually hiding these tools from us uh in the attic, which was kind of weird. Uh, it was like yeah. next to like the the nudie magazines and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, so I dude I got um the the French tickler. I've got two giant pink dillies, if you're into that. I've got the Great American Challenge, and I also have some uh, some cockadoodle doo rings, if you get my drift. Oh, uh, no, nah, man, I'm good. I got enough of those already. Okay, because we have a pegging station as well. It's all in one pegging station. No tools assembly needed. You just sit down on this bad boy, and it just rocks your world, man. It'll have you getting that prostate milked, you know? Man, I was looking at that one in the catalog, but shit. Yeah, see, I can't that, even open my catalog because it's so sticky. I, I got to save up for that one. They, they actually want a down payment for that one. Yeah, they did. Honestly, man, I had to give them my firstborn child. God damn. Yeah, but honestly, it's worth it, dude. I'm shooting loads like you would never believe, bro. Damn, I got to fucking step it up, man. I'm going to have to... Uh miss my truck payment to uh, get that from you absolutely dude and i even found this uh this record upstairs in the attic next to my grandfather's stuff uh that i guess he he had a soundcloud my grandpa which is fucking crazy but yeah check it out yeah what up it's me bobby blumkey baby coming down you know it's me and i'm gonna put it in my brown i'm talking pegging boy and i ain't talking about religion i'm talking pegging baby you don't even know what you've been missing baby oh put it right up in my keister i'm flying around the world baby like it's fucking easter oh shit that's santa christmas time he gonna bring the toys and they're all gonna buy baby vibrating on the booty, on the hole, baby, gonna do it nice like I make a fucking casserole. Yeah, girl, what you doing now when I'm plugging up that booty? All the brown, baby. Oh, brown town, baby. Tell you what the damn pound. Tell you what the pound town. Tell you what the brown cow. Oh, no, that's where they get the chocolate milk. It's right in the back. It's that prostate is milk. Oh, oh, 2%. Do it right now. I think he just hung up. I kind of get it somehow. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah, Trey, that was for you. Your man knew it was a prank almost immediately. <laughs> but it was fun. It was a funny, funny time. Okay, let's see. Spacey Danks, new number. You're awesome over there, but you help all the time. So obviously we're trying to hook you up with a little something, something. Yeah, we love you, man. We love you. We love all you guys. You guys are so fucking nice to us. Also, just to let everybody Rocky, know. you ordered Mitra 9. That's what? awesome. And you liked it. That's fucking cool. Hell yeah. Did you use our code? Because you get money off. if you 20%. Use yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see. So this is Jackie. She's in the middle of a divorce. She's pretty much tried to her husband. She has a daughter and a son and many grandkids. She lives in Florida. Big Christian. Oh, you could do something with that. You want to get a big Christian? Mm-hmm. You know what you could do? Uh-huh. You work for the Biden Foundation. Ugh. You know that'll piss her off. Okay. Maybe. Might piss you off. I don't know. Let's go. Kinsley said, I have never been more confused. Your call has been forwarded to voice. What what's confusing, I think Kinsley? Trey invited Kinsley, and this, oh. we're making prank calls. So welcome. Oh yeah, Joe Exotic. Let me fucking bring that up. Oh shit! Yeah, let's get a Joe Exotic call in here this evening, folks. This one's for Spacey Tanks. I hope her phone's on. Let's do it. Let's be careful with the buttons. Just saying. Now. Yeah. Shit, man. It looks like her phone's off. Spacey. Oh my god. I just want to make a call work for you. Wait. Hell yeah. Well, welcome to the shit show, Kinsley. We're glad you're here. Yeah, welcome. It's uh, pure chaos, and you can send a number as well. Calls from the grave at gmail.com. We will prank Your call, call has people. been forwarded to voicemail. Shit, dude. I think her phone's off, Spacey. Um, Trey said he sent another number, I think. Yes, he did. James, also, I see you sent a number. We're going to get to you as well. Spacey said, damn it, it's all good, homies. I'm having fun. That's the spirit. Hey, that's Thank what's you. Up. Thank you. You know, we also have, like, uh, an abundance of numbers in our emails. 
so. Oh my God, do we ever? I didn't even think. About yeah. That. Oh my God, Danielle and I have more numbers than we would ever Trey. know. Yo, Trey, thank, thank you. you. Then we would ever know what to do with car salesman at Nissan works out and takes steroids. Calls <laughs> calls me Pookie. He really bad cross type eye. He's got a really bad cross eye. Okay, I love this guy. He sounds great. Sounds like a villain in a movie. It's pretty cool. Like a funny movie though, like Friday or something. Okay, this guy works at Nissan, my love. Okay. Leave that up. Gotcha. Hello? Hi, Alex. Yeah, who's this? Hi, this is um, Becky, and I, I was, like, really interested in getting a Nissan from you. We spoke, like, a few days ago, I think it was. Um, I was just wondering what the most affordable and functional one that you have on the lot is. Are you looking at new or used? Um, Probably used, but one that still has, nope. like, a warranty. Mm, let me hold on. Let me pull up the website real quick. Which which Nissan do you think would be the best, like getaway car? Getaway car. Yeah, to like get away. <laughs> Why would oh that make him? Oh my god! Hang? Really? I was gonna dude? go into it. I mean, like, here we'll call him back. A van type sitch, but damn. Let's call him back. He deserves it. That was disrespectful. Hey, we got disconnected. Please leave your message no, for Alex. Oh, damn it. Alex is a turd. Alex is being a turd. He, at burglar. first, he was like, oh, shit, I got a sale. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I used to sell cars. I did it for five years. The shit sucks ass. I'm sad that that didn't work. I'm sorry, Trey. But I made a call like that before, and it was really fun. When you're a car salesman, you will take any call. I don't give a shit what you're doing with it when you leave this lot. That's between you and the Lord, my friend. Y'all should call my store manager, Kayla. She's the manager at Dollar General. I love Dollar General prank calls, y'all. Um, okay. Uh, she doesn't like to give her employees hours because she is scared of corporate. And she doesn't like to work. She just likes to sit around and watch everyone else work. <laughs> Y'all should Trey, call as a customer. Trey, thank you. Yo, thank you, Trey. Oh, my goodness. Trey, you fucking rock, man. Hell All right. yeah. So, this lady's lazy as shit. Yeah. Uh, what, and her name's Kayla. She ain't working, but everybody else is. That's right. Let's get it. And then after this, we're going to restart the live here. Sometimes it propels us into the FYP. We'll see. We shall see, Mimi. <laughs> Oh, come on. Here, we'll try again, y'all. Sometimes you just got to put a little spice of sprinkle on it, and then it'll call, you know. Yeah, baby. Pull them drawers up, son. I'm not taking it from you, bud. I'm oh, just checking. Shit. Yeah, now we're going to jump into the kava, y'all. This is orange dreamsicle. That one's good. And, it's and so is this good. one, coconut lychee. 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 I don't know why this isn't calling. James is a fucking great number. I don't know what's going on with our system, but let me try again. Let me try again. Sometimes I have to manually type the number in, so we shall do this What's thing. the deal with tomorrow? Are we doing a show tomorrow? Uh, we might need to. Yeah. You and I got to work on that voiceover shit tomorrow. Oh, though. right. Yep. Well, we have to do makeup for it, so. No, we don't. We don't? Mm -mm. Nope. Just no. a trial run? Yeah, we're just doing the trial run. Yeah, Danielle and I are involved in a voiceover thing that I cannot give too much many details about, but it's really fucking cool. It's going to be a really fun um, game, actually, so we can't tell you more than that, but yeah. we're just doing some stuff for a game that could potentially be in Walmart and Target. Yeah, baby. So we're going to work on that tomorrow. But, yeah, I mean, if we have time, definitely do a show. I mean, the more we go live on this account, the better it's going to pop off. My friend Alyssa is watching the one who didn't answer earlier. Hello, she might send a number. That's awesome. Yeah, Alyssa, send us a number. Also, Bagel, if you have questions about Kava, um, you can message me either on TikTok or I, I think we're Facebook friends. 
I can't remember, but I'm I have to be on Facebook a lot to talk to customers and stuff. So feel free to message me there or on TikTok, and I'll give you the whole DL. Yo, James, I don't know why this number for Kayla is not working, bro. It is just not wanting to connect at all. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to call some other numbers in the meantime, and then we'll come back to that. I will mark your email as unread. I'm going to go pee. So I don't forget. I'm just going to grab a fucking rando number. All right, this one is for Isaac. Uh, hi, my friend's name is Brian. Uh, his number is, and you could... Please call and tell him you met him on a date in, in TJ, Tijuana. You guys were drunk, but you had the best night with him, and you found his number in your phone. Okay, this is great. This is great. Tijuana, dude. I love how people call it TJ. Like, I know what the fuck. Like, I'm cultured. I'm not at all, but here we are. Okay, this is Brian. Here we go. Cheers to that, y'all. Hello? Hello, this is Brian. Nah. Hey, Brian, listen, I met you in Tijuana. We had a date and all that, and I was just calling because I missed your smell. Wait, what? I said, you and I, we had a date. We went on a date. We we were drunk as shit, and we had a date in Tijuana. Shut up, bitch. That's not even cool, bro. You being an asshole. You know what? Fuck this. Shut up, pussy. Yeah! Who's a pussy now? Baby, what you doing? And you just hung up because you're a little fucking asshole. All right. Um, hopefully that doesn't get us fucking booted from this one, man. You never know, dude. You never know. Do I have to order Kava online? Um. Yeah, print asks that. You, you don't have to order it online. I mean, if you know someone local that has it, it's just a lot of the U.S. has not woken up to Kava yet. But um, we, look, you could do you could do one of two ways. One, you could go to Mitra Nine, you could buy this kava, okay, or you could go to creepytikitee.com. The link is in the YouTube description, and you can buy some traditional kava. That was the really strong stuff we were talking about. You will feel that stuff. We we ship out. I can't hear anything, so um, I don't know. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. uh, we send out directions and a strainer bag with yeah. our kava, so it's easier for you to um, figure it out. So, if you don't end up uh, wanting to buy from us, you could go into a physical kava bar, but it's a it's a whole different experience. And honestly, I recommend trying a kava bar first, and then you can get kava from us and try it at home. Um, just kava bars are the shit. I'll be right back. They really are the shit. Guys, if you are in a town that has a kava bar, it, look, here's all you got to do. Google kava bar near me, okay? And Google will tell you if there is one. You know, in some states, some states have zero. Uh, some states, like Florida, have literally like fucking 300 of them. If you've never been to one, go out there. You guys could buy one individually at the kava bar. You could drink it. You could see how you like it. If you're not feeling it, have another one. And then after that, I promise you, if you, if you enjoy uh, a bit of euphoria, a body high, social lubricant, creative lubricant, if you enjoy that, you will love Kava. Like, it's just, it's fun. Uh, and then the other K word, which I'm not allowed to mention here, because uh, the internet's fucking stupid, banks are stupid, the government's dumb. Um, but they don't want these products to remain schmiegel. If you get my drift. Uh, and there's many reasons for that. And we can go into great detail as to why. Because we have to deal with this shit firsthand. It's stupid as shit. But, um, yeah. So, Alyssa with the number, baby. Hey, guys. Please call Joseph, who is a douchey gym bro. Obsessed with his Corvette and himself. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's piss this guy off. I love this. Hey, what's up? This is Joseph. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dude? Yeah. So I was just calling. I was in the gym with you like a couple weeks ago, dude. Somebody gave me your number, and I was just like, I loved, I love your style, man. I love the way that you approach the bench and everything, and I was just wondering if I could get some tips. Yeah, man. Uh, what gym do you go to? 
Yeah, I I would go to the same gym that you do. That's why I got your number, man. But like, I noticed that you have like really defined pecs and calves and all that stuff. I'm actually I'm a musical artist. I'm I'm about to go on tour right now, and I'm just trying to get you know kind of swelled up before I get out. Now, do you do training of any kind? Uh, I guess in like personal training. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you personally do personal training? Uh, I did it for a while, man. Um, yeah, but it's like a very it's, it's like a powerlifting style. It's more for you, like, put on a shit ton of muscle and develop a lot of strength. It's not more of, like, uh, building muscle stuff like that. You'll gain muscle, of course, yeah. though, right? But you won't. Like, I don't take care of the, the diet side, right? Like, the diet side, I leave it up to someone else. <clears throat> like, what do you eat, though? Like, do you, do you eat whatever you want? Do you eat a lot? To be completely honest with you, I just had McDonald's, and I'm getting ready for for, for a workout right now. Oh, hell yeah, bro. That's the kind of stuff I'm trying to get down with, you know, because I don't want to really change my diet. I'm just, you know, I want to get in there. I want to lift and all that. I've been doing, uh, you know, I've been I've been doing the tea. I've been injecting that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, man. The one thing that I've noticed, though, is, like, women are kind of afraid of me. Do you think that that, like, getting more muscles will kind of attract them? Uh, that's very up to anybody, brother. Um, like, what's your style with women? Like, you know, do you have, like, an approach that you do with them? Because, you know, at the end of the day, the only reason I'm an artist in the first place is because I'm trying to get more Mac Daddy approach to the to the ladies. So, you know, I've got this song that I wrote specifically for a lady that I've been interested in. You know, I don't know any other way to tell her, but I'm trying to get cut. I'm trying to get swole, and I'm just trying to get more charismatic, man. I like your style, dude. I saw you leaving in that Corvette, man. Like, you got your shit together, dude, and I'm just like, you know, I'm about to go. I'm opening for Post Malone. Are you familiar with Post Malone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, so I'm opening for him, so it's a big deal, man. I mean, my life's about to change, dude. I just blew up on SoundCloud, like, literally six months ago. My whole life is changing, and now, like, Geffen Records. What's, your artist, re- What's that? What's your artist name? Lil PP. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's going to be big shit. Like, Geffen's reaching out. We're doing a music video in two months, and I'm just trying to find a way to, like, really swell the fuck up before I get out there, you know? Right, right. Yeah. You want to hear it? Here, here, I'll give you a little clip. Yeah, baby. Do it right. Gonna put it in the front and the back, and you know, baby, that shit's tight. I'm like, girl, why are you scared? Why are you scared? I'm just trying to hold your hand, baby. Stop running from me, girl. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Oh, my God, I was just hiding in your bushes, and you make it the big deal. Go on, God, baby. And we gonna do it right when I'm taking you to sushi and we may begin into a fight. Yeah, everybody's looking at us at the table and they're like, what the fuck's wrong with that couple? And we're like, baby, we don't care. We will fight in front of everybody everywhere because you know it's you and me, girl. Romeo and Juliet ain't got shit on us because at the end of the night, I ain't gonna punch you, girl. Oh no. That's right, because I got priors and I got took out in the street lights and they did. They put me in the back of the cab and they drove me down the fucking street. I was really bad, but not at you, girl. He hung up. Yeah, he just hung up. He just hung up. So I'm glad I could serenade him with a be- the beautiful stylings of rapper, actor, model, little PP. That's the first time I've ever called somebody. Oh, Roll Tide. I'm just now seeing that, dude. You know the little PP <laughs> calls, dude. I fucking go somewhere else, man. I go somewhere else. So that one was for Alyssa. I hope you like that. I hope you like that. James, just for shites and gigs, I'm going to try to call your number again. Let's see if this connects. The other ones are connecting, so I don't know what's up with the ones that aren't connecting. But it is trying as we speak. If we don't hear a ring, that means that it's gone down to sing sing. You know what I mean? Alyssa said thank you. It was great. Hell yeah, Alyssa. I'm glad you had fun with it. Okay. Um, That is not working, James. I apologize, my friend. We do have a bunch of other numbers. Do you want to do a laser pointer call? Yeah. All right. Let's do a laser pointer call. For those of you new here to the show, we used to do this every episode for like a year and a half. It was really fun. I don't know why we stopped. Uh, So all I have to do is find a restaurant. Yo, dude. What? 
Holy crap, thank Punisher you for that. Punisher coming in with the crazy ass gift, oh dude. Oh my god, thank what is you, that? Bro. The Blue Angels? Yeah, I think we got one last night from Trey. Yeah. That's super cool. Thank man. you so much, Punisher. Thank you, dude. Did you send a number? Yeah, feel free to send a number. And I mean that for everybody. You don't even have to tip us tonight, man. It's a free night. Just send a number. We're having fun. All right. Um, <laughs> restaurant, <laughs> where should we go? We'll go to... All right, here we go, guys. We're going to find a restaurant. This is really, really fun. Okay, so we will pick this chicken place. Oh, it's in a populated area. I bet they have kicking chicken. Oh, my God. They got to have the kicking chicken. All right, so let's see. We need the map view. Where is this one? Right here. All right, so let's find a store close to it. Are there any stores close to it? Um, this idea is so fucking silly, y'all. You guys are going to love it. Here, let me... I'll find a chicken restaurant, specifically. Fried chicken sounds delicious right now, by the way. Uh, I know. I know, my love. Oh, Peru chicken. Come on. I need a place that has a restaurant next to it. Very important. Very important. Okay. What's up, Jess? How are you? Jess, what up? What up? Thanks for stopping by. It is a slow night tonight, but we are still having fun. Hell yeah, we are. Uh, here we are. So we've got a KFC. Perfect. And we've got a Wendy's right across the street, baby. Oh, did we tell Woe there about the Kill Tony guy that's coming? Oh, yeah. Woe there. Uh, we've got um, Martin Phillips coming to the club June 15th. I can't believe it, dude. Super exciting. And so he might exciting. be doing two shows. Punisher, are you serious? Yo, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Punisher. Did you send thank a number? You, my man. Because I feel like we owe you something yeah. for sure. Yeah, come on. Send a number, dude. All right, my love. We're going to call KFC? Yeah. You're calling from the Wendy's across the street. All right? You, you start the call. You want me to start yeah, it? Yeah, that's how we usually do okay. it. It works out better that way. They might be closed. No, they're not closed. It says closes at 10. Yeah, that's our time. That's their time, though. Oh. They're like, they're behind. They're still living in the fucking past, baby. We're out here in the future. Okay, Punisher, just let us know. Thank you for being so generous and awesome. Yes, thank you. Thank you all. Very, very much. I can't believe they yanked our shit last night. Like, it's so fucked up. Man, we didn't... Nothing. Like, so we, we made a call that I can't even explain to you guys. Cause we're on TikTok. <gasps> thank you, Trey. Yo, thank you. Here, we'll just... We'll call the Wendy's as the KFC. Oh, hell yeah, Bagel. Moon's making traditional kava. Make sure she uses warm, not hot water. I yes. think I said that in the chat, but I can't remember. What that does is it, like, pulls out the kava lactones and activates them. So um, Activate. cold water doesn't really work that well at all. Uh, like, you can chill the kava afterwards and put it in the fridge or whatever. Did we send them kava? Are they talking about our stuff? I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Um. You can chill the kava in the fridge after, but um, just make sure it's warm water. That's it's really good kava, too. It's fucking bomb. It's great. Like, we've been getting that kava for years, but this is a new thing that we just started working with the last few months, and it's like double or triple the strength of what we previously Thank had. you, Trey. Yo, oh, Trey. my goodness. Hey, doggy dog. You Thank are you. You're awesome. I'm so glad you found us. I am, too, man. You're super cool. And you brought all these people here. Like That is a true fucking cool person, man. Thank yeah. you. All right, so I'm going to call uh, the Wendy's as the KFC. Here we go. Maybe. Maybe it'll connect. I don't know. Oh, snap. I'm glad I did say something then. That's awesome, Bagel. Hell yeah. I hope you love it. Mercury is legitimately in retrograde, guys, and it has been pretty much the whole month of April, and boy, has it fucking felt like it. Oh, my God. The stuff that we have to deal with at the comedy what club, the man. Hell? I don't know. Maybe Mercury try in retrograde. Hawaii. 
All right, we'll do Hawaii. Let's go, baby. We'll get a chicken restaurant in Hawaii. I'm just looking for a populated area, you know. It's got to be something that has something across the streets. You know what, Bagel? If you, I'm not trying to, like, say where you are currently, but there is a, if you're in CS, I'm sure you're picking up what I'm putting down. There is a, um, a really cool kava bar over there. RJ and I went there on vacation one time, and that place, I'm going to look it up. All right, here we go. We are in the heart of Hawaii, folks. Uh, okay, we got a Jersey Mike and a Pancake House right next to each other. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, Ohana is what it's called. Um... I think that's, yeah, that's the place where we went. It's it's pretty great. I mean, kava bars can be pretty expensive, but it's it's a good time. Yeah, and it is. it's a good place to have, like, a date night or something. Punisher, oh, my God, you're sending us dinosaurs. Wow, that Dude, was really cool. Thank, thank you, you so We've much. We've never gotten a dinosaur, man. I've Just never the tiny seen dinies. That. That's cool shit. That's Amazing. awesome. Thank you, dude. Thank you. We know that you guys spend your hard-earned money shelling out gifts and cash apps to us and like i i sincerely i cannot thank you guys enough for real man like you guys have like definitely changed our life you have no idea and when shit happens like this tiktok bullshit last night it fucks everything up for it us. really does so thank you guys for coming in and like just donating to the show like design all you. the hoodies on the website are you asking if we did because yes yes the ones that are on Threadless? Is that what you're talking about? We got a new something in the works, too. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited about it. Should I show them? You have it up? Probably. Okay, let's make this call first. Yeah, you though. can make the call. Okay, here we go. We're going to call Jersey Mike's. Trey, yeah, we um, designed those. So, thank you. I'm glad you love them. That's amazing. Jersey Mike's Hawaii Cars is calling him to help you. Hey, how you doing, man? This is Dave over here at the Pancake House. Oh, Raj. Yeah, what's up, dude? How you doing? Pretty good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, man. So I was just calling because uh, it seems like somebody's, like, shining a laser pointer in our store. And, uh, yeah, somebody said that it was coming from your store, like one of your employees, like, shining a laser pointer over here. Oh, when was this, dude? Uh, it was like two hours ago, but the lady's just telling me about it now. I've got this old lady in here, and, you know, the laser, like, hit her in the eye, and she's got a cataract, and now she's talking about suing us or some shit. And, uh, yeah, man, so I don't know. Did you, did you see one of your employees messing with a laser pointer? Uh, and you said, wait, you said you're at the, pan, the pancake house. Yeah, I'm in the pancake house. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure, dude. I'm, I can ask, but I'm not yeah. 100% sure. Here, I'll put the lady on the phone. Here she is. She's she's okay, pissed, dude. Here, uh, hello. Hi. Hi. Yes. So I was just eating, and then the, the laser had gone right into my eye, and I had a cataract, and I'm uh, I also have a little bit of dementia, and I just screamed out, roll tide when it happened because I'm just so used to saying that out loud but I don't know what was going on with the laser but it went right in my eye and now I can't really see anymore honey you screamed out roll tide it's just, it's just a, a reflex I guess yes sir you're a big fan of Alabama huh yeah yeah me that's and what I'm talking about brother I'm not did a see, did you see them get you see me get clapped by Michigan uh, yes, honey, but I'm not a, I'm not your brother, honey. I'm old enough to be your grandma. Oh, word. Yeah, I don't know what you mean, but um, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do about my eye. Oh, um, I don't know, neither I, but roll tide, brother. Uh, what? Uh, roll tide, brother. Roll Tide, brother. Hey, hey, sorry, man. I was, uh, were you saying Roll Tide to my customer? Yes, sir. She was 
talking about some roll tide. Yeah, what the hell is that? Is that what you guys say sure. before you shine people in the face with a laser? No, no, she was talking about how she got shot in the eyes. She said roll tide. Yeah, I mean, she's clearly not mentally all there, man. But, like, yeah, somebody, one of your employees, like, hit her in the face with a laser, and you're talking about roll tide? Like, this is crazy, dude. I can't see, honey, and I have... It's all good, man. I'll talk to them and try to figure out who did it. But I'm not 100% sure. Well, I'll send her over. Can she just get a free sub or something, man? I need to get her out of my store, dude. She shit her pants earlier, and I just I can't deal with it. Absolutely, bro. Can you That's help good. me to the bathroom, honey? No, I cannot. I'm telling you, this lady smells like dog shit. It's bad, dude. All right, brother. Just send her over. <laughs> I didn't say okay, I was look. deaf. I can still hear you, you son of a bitch. Okay. Well, I apologize, ma'am. I, you know, I didn't know that you could still hear because you're older than uh, Charlie Chaplin's fucking mustache. <laughs> What's that? Can you hear me? Yes, sir, bro. Yeah, what's up, bro? I can hear you, bro. Hey, bro. Listen, do you guys have uh, kicking chicken over there? Oh, uh, yeah, we got chicken, bro. You can cook it. No, bro, kicking chicken. Tell him roll tide. Oh, no, no more Roll Tide. Here, I wrote a song about this. Y'all are pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shining a laser in this old lady's eye. And she shit herself good and she shit it on my floor. And I had to kick her out. She's coming to Jersey Subs for more. And now she wants you to fucking kick and kick. <laughs> 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 All right, so now what we traditionally do is we will call the pancake house now. Oh, fuck, they're closed. Never mind. Hey, they're closed. Call a Kava bar, and I'm going to be an old lady. Oh, and... my God. We've never called. Well, actually, we have. We called a Kava bar back in the day. Kava bar. Hmm. I'm going to be like, what the hell is Kava? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I dig it, yeah. And every time they explain it, act like you are you think it's something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the the wine. <laughs> it's chocolate. It's chocolate. Is it poop water? <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, no, nah, let's find a Kava bar. No, I don't want a Fiji Kava bar. Here, guys, this will be fun. Kava bar will go to. Thanks everybody for hanging around. I know it's a slow night, but this is fun. It yeah. feels much more relaxed and chill, and I don't feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack trying to find all these numbers for people. <laughs> yeah, this is closer to like our old school show that we used to do, um, and sometimes we miss doing that show. You know, it's. Yeah. But it, that show takes a lot more work than our current show does. It's well, they take equal work. It's just different types of work. All right, you're going to call uh, this place that we've definitely been to. Okay. Island Route, Melbourne. Hello, yes, my name is Margaret, and uh, my grandson told me that I need to come in there and try the Kaaba. All right, yeah. Is it safe for an older woman such as myself? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, we got a lot of older people that come in that drink kava. The owner's dad drinks it all the time, and I think he's in his uh, either late 70s, early 80s. Oh, wow, honey. Okay, that's real nice. So yeah. can you tell me what what in the hell is kava anyway? So it's uh, kava's a root from the South Pacific, like uh, Hawaii and Tahiti and stuff. They've been drinking it for thousands of years over there. And so we just take the ground up root and like kind of incorporate it into water with like a cheesecloth. And uh, then you get kava and it kind of is just like a mild relaxing, um, mild muscle relaxer. The, the effect is really subtle. You can drink it all night and, you know, still drive or what, do what you got to do. It doesn't like mess with your mind or anything, but it can just kind of relax you. It can help with some pain and... Well, that sounds real nice. Now, listen, yeah. do they put the hormones in the cheese that you say you put in it? No, the whole, there, we, there's no cheese in it. It's just kava. Well, you had said something about cheese and... Oh, we make it with a cheese cloth. Oh, okay, because I have... Yeah, a... no, the, yeah, no, there's no cheese in it. It's just root and water, that's it. There's yeah. not zero calories, it's all natural. 
Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so there's no uh, chemicals or anything like that in it because I don't, you know, I don't eat the government cheese or whatever. And I don't, I, no, I, no, ma'am. You're, yeah, you're all good. We get it straight from the island, straight from Tahiti. Okay. There's nothing in it. Yeah, the FDA don't touch it. Now, tell me, is it gluten free? Yeah, it's free of it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's free of everything. Okay. It's just the root and the water. So what, what do you say that it tastes like exactly? Uh, it's a little earthy. Like, it just tastes a little earthy. It's not, I wouldn't say necessarily tasty, but it doesn't taste, like, horrible. All right. Well, you know, God, they say all the time, uh, God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. So drink the kava exactly. and watch been, it work. That's what we've been saying. I mean, uh, you guys should make a shirt or something to say that, because I will probably. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe, so, but anyway, ma'am, come on down. I got to run. I'm bartending right now, but come on down and give us a try. I will, but my son, my son, uh, Bob, Bob Blumpkin, do you know him? He told me uh, that they put the fluoride in the, the cobble water. No, no, there ain't none of that in there. So we do you, you use a, fi- what kind of filter is it? RO, reverse osmosis. Oh, that's real nice. Now, y'all must have spent a lot of money on that. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, we yeah we invest in it. But anyways, man, come on down. I got to run. Oh, okay. I gotta, yeah, I got to get back to my job. But so, yeah, we're here. Cobb is here. It's healthy and clean. Is it okay that I, I wear adult diapers and sit at the bar? Because I don't want to freak anybody out. But I do have dementia and sometimes make me forget to go to the bathroom. Um, I mean, do as you please. Okay, honey. Well, you yeah. you are a real sweetheart, and I really appreciate all your help. And I, and when I come in there, I say, hey, honey, it's Margaret, and I hope you remember me. All righty. I for sure will. All right, honey. All right. Well, well ro- thank you, Margaret. I'll see you in here if you decide to come on in. Okay, baby. Now, roll tide. Roll Tide. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. All right, All right. honey. Yeah. Go- yeah, see you, Margaret. Okay. Go Bama. That, yes, that's right. Go Bama. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this show is ridiculous. You know, sometimes we get so caught up at the moment because we've been doing it for so long. But sometimes I'm just the right amount of tired and buzzed up like I am now where I'm like, this shit is so fucking silly what we do. This is silly as shit. It really is. That was ridiculous. The fact that, like, this is our job is fucking silly. Yeah, I know. And, you know, that dude really did know his shit, so I'm proud of him. I just realized I ate some mushies. You did? And that's probably why I'm very reflective Oh, wow. Sometimes I'm afraid to say certain things on... YouTube or TikTok about these things that we yeah. consume because yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. But yeah, we I would do a whole episode just calling Kava bars. So <laughs> that was so fun. I mean, what better place than here? What better time than now? Oh hell, can't stop us now. That's Rage Against the Machine. Y'all. Also, side note, we have twenty nine point seven k likes. And that is crazy because there's been what? like 14 people watching. And You guys are awesome, man. I didn't even look at the likes tonight. I gave up on it. I was like, well, it's a slow night. I'm not even going to pay attention to yeah. it. Yeah, that's wow. amazing. Thank you for breaking your thumbs. for. <laughs> you guys are so fucking cool, man. Yeah, yeah, you are. And yes, Bagel, just to see if they know what they're talking about. That'd be funny as hell. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're going to call this dude and do a gaydar check. Apparently, he might be a little handsy. What's up, Christian? How Yo, are you? Hello, Christian. What's popping, dude? Thanks for coming over to our backup, dude. We got nixed off of our main for a week, which sucks, but it's all good. This is, this is a different vibe, dude. It's we nice. actually didn't restart the TikTok stream. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this call first. Good call over there. Yeah. Um, because this this one, I, I want to call. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do, actually. Trey, hold up. I'm going to call this this one in a little bit i've got an idea to kick start the uh the new stream off let me do that first yeah it's been really nice not stressing out about whose number is what and who sent a cash app that shit oh my god after like look we're hella grateful 
do not get it twisted, but at the end of our show, I feel like my brain has exploded. It's okay, bud. You know what's crazy? I feel that way right now, and it's been slow as shit. <laughs> I feel way more relaxed than I usually do during our show, so it's been... I feel too relaxed, like I'm going to fall asleep. But, um, yo, <laughs> TikTok, here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, turn off the live for literally 30 seconds, and then we're going to come right back on the same live on the same account, okay? So bear with us. Sometimes this projects us out into the atmosphere a little bit better. Sometimes it doesn't work at all, and maybe we'll have less viewers. I hope not. I hope you guys will come back in 30 seconds. If not, for whatever reason, you want to keep consistently watching us without taking a 30-second break, we are on YouTube. The link is up in our bio. We've been on there the whole time. Uh, yeah, let's see if this works. I love you guys. Thank you for all your donations. Please, please come back. 30 come seconds. Come back. It won't be long at all. Seconds. Okay. Marvel does this thing, I think I talked about it before, where he, uh, like, cobs things. C-O-B-S. And, like, it, it looks like he's just eating corn on the cob all the time. Um, I don't understand why he does that, or if it's, like, an anxiety thing. But, like, he, my pillows and my blankets always smell like his breath. <laughs> what is it? Why do dogs cob? We should call a vet and ask them why dogs cob. Yay, Trey, you're back. That's awesome. We about to be on the TikTok again, too. I was going to say something. I totally forgot. It, I felt like it was important. Oh, yeah. So I showed TikTok the new design that we're putting on some of our merch. It is a pizza nut design. I'll show you on YouTube, too. Hold yeah, on. it's cool. It's a good night to show it. Which everybody. camera is it on? Mine, but now it's on yours, baby. Hold on. Let's check it out. It's pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool, y'all. Don't spill no drinks. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Um, so I haven't had time to upload it to anything yet, but I... I'm trying to do it this week and I'll let everybody know when I do. I'm not completely finished with it yet. Like I think I'm going to put graveyard goons on there somewhere. Do you think I should? Yeah. Or do you think I should just leave it as is? I think you should leave that as is, no, but somewhere on the ask, shirt. Let's ask the people. Maybe okay. I could put graveyard goons on the back of the shirt. Yeah. Or like the pocket or something. Something. That would kind of be cool. As I, don't a back. Know, I don't know if that's really like an option, but mm. we'll see. We shall see. All right, guys, we're going to call an Arby's. Okay. This is the idea I have. It's stupid as shit. Trey, I'm glad we pulled you out of a funk. That's awesome. You know, breakups take the life out of you, and so does life in general. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I guess we're all kind of helping each other because before the show yesterday, I was definitely in a funk. And then... Usually before the show, I feel like I'm losing my mind. So, I feel you. Trey, real quick, before I hit call, because now it's been about two and a half minutes since we've been off TikTok. Um, last night, I think we got nixed on calling. Was it your ex about the strip club? Was that the ex you just broke up with, dude? If so, bro, holy shit, did you dodge a bullet. But yeah. And yay, Christine. Cool. I'm glad you like that idea. I will make a note of that to put it on the back. Hell yeah. Here we go, guys. We're going to call an Arby's. We're going back live on TikTok. If it doesn't work, we're just going to switch entirely to YouTube for the night. Here we go. Sorry, the mailbox is full and there is not enough space to leave a no. message. How is that an Arby's where the mailbox is full? That doesn't That's make so any weird. damn sense. What's up, TikTok? Tiki! Print, Marvel's ears seem to be healing up, uh, thankfully. Uh, when dogs get an ear infection, you can kind of smell it a bit. And that smell has gone away, thankfully. And he had it in both ears, so I hope it's calming down. 
We have to take him back to the vet for a checkup soon. Yo, what's up, Tiki? We're making prank calls. That's right, baby. That's Actually, what we're doing. I need to make a note of that so we don't forget to schedule the appointment. All right, here we go. Yes, make that note, my love. Yeah, we're making prank calls, dude. That's what we're doing. Hey, hey. Here we go. We're going to call an Arby's, folks. Let's hope they answer. Christian, what do you mean not here? It did nothing. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Sometimes it'll... Hey, how you doing, man? Look, I, I've been eating there like every day for the last week. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hey, what's up, man? So, look, dude, I've been eating there every day for like the last week, and for whatever reason, like I've just been like backed up. Do you get that complaint from anybody else? You said backed up? Yeah, like I just haven't been able to pass the stoolies. You know what I mean? Like, have you gotten that okay. complaint from anybody else? Um, yeah, give me one second. Yeah, I mean, you eat there. Tell me what your experience is. Um, well, I eat it, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good? Like, you don't get backed up? Like, is your flow good and all that? I'm sorry? I said, is like, when you when you eat it, is your flow good and everything? Like, you're pretty regular? <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, I'm going to get somebody with this. Look, I did this at our live show. Uh, and it really worked. We had this lady describing to us, like, how her poops were and stuff. It was great. So I'm going to try to get somebody else to do that. Let's go, baby. Calling an Arby's, baby. If I sent you an invite for the show and you're already here, just ignore it. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no one is available. I'm sorry, too, Arby's. Here, I'll call this one that's literally right about the close. What's up, Suki? Thanks for coming back. Suki, what's popping? All what's right, up, gonna... Brian? Brian, what's up, dude? We're a live prank call group. That's right. That's what we do, baby. Oh, my God. Marvel just farted, and it's horrific smelling. Oh, my God. It's probably about as bad as this Arby's I'm about to call as Holy far as shit, that's disgusting. Farts go. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> what's up, Brenda? How are you? Welcome. We're live prank calling people right now. If you've got a number, send it over. We'll call your people. Thank you for calling Arby's. This is Courtney speaking. How may I help you? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I um, I just moved into town, and I've been eating at your Arby's for like a week now. And uh, first off, i got to say, I don't know what you guys do different, but you guys are the best Arby's I've ever had, and I travel around the country. So, awesome. yeah, what well, do we you— We really appreciate that. What are you guys doing different? Um, I'm I'm really not sure. We just we're just doing what we're supposed to be doing, I guess. Um, we usually um, try to keep things fresh, so um, if things start to go bad, we get rid of them and then replace it and things like that. Well, that's beautiful. I'm glad that you guys care enough. I'm glad you guys care that much. I um yeah, so I've been eating it, and like Arby's is my favorite uh, fast food restaurant. So I've been eating there every single night for like two weeks now. Probably not the healthiest decision I've ever made, but I've been doing that. Um. And I don't know if you guys have any regular customers like this, but the issue I'm having is I'm pretty irregular. Has anybody complained about, like, being too backed up when they eat that much Arby's? Uh, n no. Um, uh, I haven't really had any complaints on that, so. Really? Okay. What, uh, do you eat Arby's? Um, not, not very often because I work here, so I kind of got burnt out on it the first few months i've been here so oh i get you okay but when you were eating it or like your co-workers or anything like how are they are they pretty regular yeah um as far as i know uh, but we do, i haven't heard any complaints from my staff either okay is anybody there that you could just ask them if they're regular I, i'm what exactly like you... like if they're not backed up if they've got a good flow to things and you know that kind of a thing. Um, I, I, I personally not want to ask my employees that, so I apologize. Oh, it's all good. Uh, you can put me on speaker. I'll ask them. Who wants to ask a weird question or answer a weird question? Hello. 
hey, what's up, man? I was just calling. I um, I know this is kind of weird, but I've been eating Arby's every single day for like the last two weeks because I'm traveling for work. Um, and I was asking her, but she said she doesn't eat Arby's that regularly. Like I, I've been really like backed up, and I was just wondering if anyone else has complained about that. Uh, potentially. That was a lot of, uh, for just potentially. I mean, what have you heard, man? I just, I don't know if I need to go to the ER or what. Per chance. Per chance. Okay, you're being a bit coy with me, but do you eat Arby's? Okay, buddy. Well, you're not being very professional. I got to say that. That's for sure. Look, just tell me if this sounds healthy. Oh, dude, you might want to get that one checked out. Okay, what about this one? It's like towards the end, it got a little, like, faster. Yeah. And that was, I, yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably what my you best have? one. Uh, I had 15 of the uh, the junior Arby's things i don't like to eat the whole you know the whole sandwich you josher how could you lie to me after all we've been through we don't even have the junior rb sandwiches anymore oh so you're calling me a liar i am well sir i don't feel like you have gone through the arby's training to properly speak to people uh because clearly you are playing some kind of game with me on the phone and uh in return here's a song i wrote about arby's Oh, wait. Yeah, I wrote this song about Arby's, baby, and it just had me doing all kind of parties, girl. Yeah, and you know my dookie's coming out in about a week. It's kind of late, you. Oh, my God, got a little shit, and I sat on the toilet, and it was coming out kind of wet, yeah. Then it all stopped up in an instant. My dookie was in my motherfucking small intestine. It ain't coming out, baby. Oh, yeah, it's stuck, girl. And now I gotta tell my girl to get out of my truck. Fuck, god damn. What are we gonna do when my poopy ain't coming out? You can't call that poop poo, yeah, yeah. My shit is stuck right up in my booty butt And I can't get it out Oh girl, I can't get enough I've been eating all these for two straight weeks And everybody's looking at me like my name is Meek Mill I don't know So, I'd, I hate no. to do that to you, but, you know, that's really how I feel You have, like, a Spotify by any chance? Yeah, I do. When, what? I'm asking for one of my coworkers. What's the name of it? Uh, it's, I'm. I go by usually. I go by rapper, actor, model, little PP. Okay. Yeah, here's one of my traditional songs. Yeah, what you doing, homie? And you feeling good, but every single time I eat your oh, motherfucking I food, video. I can't oh. shit too much, can't shit enough, and the shit is really far stuck up in my butt. You know, oh my god, I can't get it out tonight, and I've been sitting on the toilet, and my tutor hole is tight, baby, and it won't flex, and it won't release, because I got the shit so bad, it's in my sneezes, oh, choo-choo. Baby, they flying forward, that's my fucking sneeze doo-doo And it's coming towards you, oh my god Don't get hit with the particles, baby Coming at your booty hole like a party hole Yeah, so, that's one of my traditional Courtney! Yeah, Courtney, come, Courtney, come back Courtney, come back Huh? Huh? Courtney, come back Come back, Courtney Let's talk about this Courtney Courtney. He wants to talk to you. Yes, come on. One to one, mano y mano. Let's go, Courtney. He's trying to go home. Well, I'm trying to go home too, but I got to figure out if I can dookie. Does this one sound healthy? Or what? Holy motherfucking. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're just absolutely unprofessional. 
You're just absolutely unprofessional. You know, this is the kind of stuff that really upsets. Everybody, this isn't the pooper hotline. Uh, well, I know it's not the pooper hotline, but it is the Arby's hotline, and honestly, I can't tell the difference. It's Arby's cold line. <laughs> okay, did we you write serve. that one yourself? Jesus <laughs> Christ, boy. Okay, look, you guys are really upsetting me, and uh, to counter yeah, that, yeah, to counter that, I have written another song about Arby's backing me up. Yeah, it was a slow night, baby. Arby's had me feeling so goddamn tight in my booty cheeks, girl. Every single week I've been eating Arby's consistently for two weeks, girl. You know I ain't even farted enough this week to be a human being, yeah. I've what we I've doing? Noticed. What? What the hell are you talking right. about, goddamn boy? You're so unprofessional. Now it's time for heavy metal. Coming in, girl. When my duty hole is stuck in the back of my shins, it ain't healthy, girl. Yeah. I didn't even know this was a duet, but god damn, I got something for you to show mad respect. Yeah! I can't get this duty all out of my butt, girl! I can't get this duty all, yeah, get me duty, fuck yeah. I can't believe this isn't Arby's, baby. And now we're talking about pooping, talking about farting, talking about being backed up by the motherfucking Arby's. Yeah, yeah, go. Now it's your turn, boy. You're at Arby's and you're doing some dumb shit like a boy, like a boy. Go. He gone. <laughs> that took so much. Dude, I didn't know you were Rob Zombie. What the hell? Dude, you didn't know? I did not know. You didn't know? Yeah, what's up, TikTok? All right, folks. Welcome to Calls from the Grave. Now we got some peeps in here. That's what's up. If you guys want us to prank call your friend, we will. That was an Arby's we were just on the phone with, believe it or not, which is extremely unprofessional. Marvel wants to say hi to everybody. Marvel wants to say hi. Buddy, you got to put your face... Your, he yeah. did. Okay. He smiled. All right, this one is for Trey... My man doesn't know. I know he likes. Oh, this is the one that we were going to. Okay, okay. You know what we're going to do, Trey? We're saving this for Goons After Dark. Okay, because that is a, <laughs> we'll a do, dicey call. We'll do that after dark, which is what we do on YouTube. And we'll maybe we'll also call your ex again. Yes. Yeah, your ex. Just to follow up on the job opportunity. <laughs> Look All at right. Marvel on the. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Hey, you want to call on Arby's and ask him why he can't poop? Yeah. All right. Let's get it. I think this will be a really good you call rock, for you. You rock, bagel. Thank you. Oh, welcome, guys. Yeah, if you want us to prank call a number for you, that's what we do here. Let's go. Hit that Arby's. Yeah, let's get it, baby. This one in O-Town, huh? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Cool. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Don't eat that stuff. Don't eat that stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Don't eat that. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're making prank calls, ya boy. Yeah. I oh shit! I just got shocked so bad. I think our dog's making prank calls with us. Yeah, he is. He's, he's five seconds from jumping on. He's this about table. it. Yeah. So we just called an Arby's and d hey, stop. We just called an Arby's and. Uh, oh shit, Jessica. Sorry. Yeah, we um made people mods in like a a rush. We'll add you to this one. All right, I'm going to call a different Arby's. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe that they're not taking this seriously. Oh, here's one that's open till fucking 2 a.m. You playing cards, bud? We're on an Arby's poop tour right now, y'all. Get what ready to see our dogs. Wee -wee. Yeah. Howl at the moon, hey, bud. Hey, 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 get down, bud. That's crazy. What are you doing? He's happy. He's happy, I guess. All right. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thanks, Connors. Hey, um, so I uh, I just got some food from you a, a little while ago, and I'm just sorry you're breaking up. Oh uh, well, uh, can you hear me now? 
barely. Okay, so I got some food from y'all yeah, yesterday, and I don't know why, but can you tell me why I can't go poop? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, he wonder why he couldn't hear me. Let's call him back. Let's ask again. Marvel is really feeling the attention tonight. It's it's because I did the metal call. No, he was up here before that. Look at him on this. I know. He's great. He's a beautiful pup. Yeah. The cutest. Yeah, baby. That product placement, what you know about it. Hmm. Harbor Lake City Euro speaking, may I help you? Hello, yes, I, I I got some food from y'all yesterday, and uh, the gentleman that I was just talking to, he hung up on me, but this is a serious question. Okay. And a genuine concern. Okay, so I got this food from y'all yesterday, and for some reason I'm having real trouble going to the bathroom, and I'm usually pretty regular. Is this a common occurrence with Arby's? Okay. Well, then the best thing to do, ma'am, is, is if, if, if it causes you irregularities like that, it's best not you, that you not eat here anymore. You need to get, probably get more fiber in your system. And You're what not did getting you... enough fiber in order to go. And this is just straight up protein, so that's not going to make you go to the bathroom. So what did You're you call it? You're not getting any vegetables. Irrigation. What, uh, what did you mean by irrigation? No, ma'am. I said you're not getting enough fiber. Okay, fiber. so I guess fiber I'll, is what comes with vegetables. Okay, so you you're yes, saying that so the thing, none of the burgers that so whatever that y'all got over there they don't have no fiber. Yes, they don't have enough fiber for you to move anything. That's why it's not recommended that you eat a lot of fast food every day, just well, on an occasion. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to figure out how do I get myself to go to the bathroom in the meantime. Some fiber. Eat you some veggies. Eat you some uh, just crisp veggies. Well, I could Not, get... You know, like steam them a little bit and then just eat those and it'll take care of your irregularity. Are you sure about that? Yes, ma'am. I'm an herbalist. You're an herbalist? Yes, ma'am. I take herbal medicine. I don't take pharmaceutical medicines. Well, that's that's pretty silly, I think. But um, now tell no, me. That's how we that's how we were for ten thousand years. We only ate natural foods. It's what's causing our, our, our not able to go to the bathroom and stuff like that, and giving us all these diseases. Okay. It's having to do with pharmaceutical drugs. Well, then why the hell do you work at Arby's? Because it makes me. I pays my bills. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, some got to work somewhere, ma'am. You don't have to get high on your own supply, they say, I guess. Yes, exactly. Well, I appreciate the help from the herbologist, and I will definitely take your advice and go get me some vegetables and steam them up. Yes, ma'am, that's the best thing for you to do. I mean, that's what I do. I just My sister's having the same problem because she eats a lot of fast food, and she eats a lot of starches and proteins. Okay. Meat. And she doesn't eat very many vegetables, and she's now having to go see the doctor because of it. Oh. She hasn't gone in two weeks. Well, currently I got, like, the meat sweats. But, like, I'm just trying to figure out maybe I should just grow my own because it's garden season. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, I think so. So what I, I think what I'm going to uh, do. You can, you can, it's real easy to do. Uh, you know, I get you some tomatoes. You can slice your tomatoes, put them in the, on, the top of the, on the top of the dirt, cover it with dirt, and you'll have tomato bushes in uh, five to seven days. Well, that's crazy. So maybe with, I could do that with the meat, too. Do you, is that how you grow no, it? No, 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 ma'am, no, ma'am. No, ma that, that's, that's Heavenly Father's made. Oh, oh shit. Okay, so um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh roll tide and get me a garden going and and try to get some fiber in yeah. in my stomach in the meantime. Right, because I was raised when we used to do Victory Gardens. You remember Victory Garden? I know what you're talking about right now, cause I'm I'm growing one of them tonight. I'm gonna put the garden together, cause exactly. I I can't sleep. I got well, insomnia. I'll some... find for you, ma'am. Okay. Okay, honey. Well, you have yourself a great, great night, and you are the victory in the garden, honey. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so very oh, much, and you have a good evening. Thanks me. for calling. And thank you, baby. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that was crazy. Camden, shout out for the cash app, my brother. I got you right now. That dude was talking like this. And then you can go out there and get you a, uh, and then you got to do a, uh. I was like, why does he do that? But honestly, that dude's awesome. And I understand that sometimes you just get stuck where you are working, even though you don't believe in the product. You know what I'm saying? He said he was an herbalist. I should have, I should have tested him. Camden, are you still watching? Yo, Camden, thank you so much. That's awesome. Firstly, shout out. Thank you so much. You said he works at ATBK. What is that? What is that? ATBK. You got to get yourself some fiber. Fiber. I'm going to type that in. ATBK. Um, that is, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, an antenna store? I don't know. What's up, Talon? Holy shit, I didn't mean to make it click like that, but clip, I mean, oh my god, my brain isn't yeah, working. Oh, hell uh, yeah. Camden, Camden said I meant Burger King. Burger King? Oh my god, I meant perfect. Burger King. Perfect. Burger King. Should I talk to him like the other guy talked to me? <laughs> yeah. The guy talked to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here How we go. you doing tonight? Uh, yeah. What's up, Dad? Hi, is this David? No. David, I'm calling because you work at the Burger King and they gave me your number because I have been backed up because I've been eating Burger King for two weeks and they told me to call you and ask you why I'm backed up. So you're telling me you're calling from West Virginia about Burger King in Ohio? Yeah, it's because I actually travel for work. So that's not very odd to have a West Virginia number when you're traveling for work. Well, I'm just trying to figure out because I called your job and they gave me your number. And they said that I've been backed up and I should call you because you eat a lot of Burger King as well. I don't eat Burger King. I just work there, actually. Roll Tide. Okay. Now, you just worked at, why don't you eat your own food? You don't get high on your own supply. No, it's nasty as fuck. I don't get why you eat it. Are you serious? Do you Does corporate know you're talking like that? I don't give a fuck what they think. Wow. Okay, that is extremely disrespectful. Check out my new song. <laughs> For two weeks and sitting myself, sitting on the toilet all by myself, baby. Oh my God, I don't think I felt a fart. It's coming in right now with tearing my ass all apart. It's tearing my ass all apart. Yeah, my ass all apart. Yeah, my asshole. Then my small intestines coming in inside my mouth, oh my god Now it's flying out the bottom of my duty hole And everything is feeling rock bottom like Spongebob Baby, Spongebob, baby, what you gonna do when Spongebob is got your fucking doo-doo And he's knocking on your brown door Coming in inside now, motherfucker, let's go Roll time, baby, what? Do it now, in your butt, yeah, yeah so that's a new song that I've been working on. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think, first off, do you think this town's regular? <laughs> Does that sound healthy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're not very helpful. I feel like you're being sarcastic with me, and I'm being very genuine with you. Here's my cousin, rapper, actor, my old little pee pee. She tells the wrong one. Yeah! Motherfucker, what the fuck you gonna do, baby? When I'm talking about that Burger King, it ain't the doo doo. Coming out my tiny hole, coming out the big four, coming out the small intestines right out of. Oh my god, I fought it, I fought it, I did it right now because it's coming in and out of my mother. That's my 
of the song. Are you still there? Yeah. I'm sorry, I was taking someone back real quick. What are you even doing right now, boy? I was trying to beat my meat. You're beating your meat, but the uh, Burger King has the meats. Yeah, I put my meat in that burger, bro. Don't put your meat in the meat grinder, you know. You're not supposed to take that literally. Okay. So good, though. All right, that's probably true. I'm not going to argue with you on that. That's for sure, baby. I do have a special message from a good friend of mine. My name's jo My name's Joe Exotic. I'm bro I'm broke as shit and I don't mind saying it. At the, at the age of 13. Okay, I'm going to get on out of here, baby. Oh, what? I got a fart. So? <laughs> All right. Oh, he left. Um, Ragnar, he was Ooh. he was a little low, but I think it was just him because the other calls have been um, audible for sure. I think he was just like a really light light talker. My brain is not working. Me neither. I think my I love. just turned into Joe Biden. Camden, thank you so so much for that cash app. I greatly appreciate you. Here's what we're going to do because it's a very, very slow night on TikTok. Guys, if you'd like to continue watching the show, we're going to do a couple more calls on YouTube. We're live on YouTube right now. If you're interested, it's called Goons After Dark. That's where Danielle and I get to do whatever the hell we want. We don't have to worry about the bureaucracy of TikTok and, get, and getting in trouble on here and all that bullshit. So, and we can do Trey's crazy <laughs> call and also call his ex again. It's going to be fun. Yeah, baby. It's going to be great. Um, so yeah, so if you guys are interested, come on over to YouTube. The link is in the bio on our account right here. And we're going to be doing the same show you're watching now just on YouTube where we can do whatever we want. Hell no yeah, Brenda. Cares. Come on over. Come yeah. over, Ragnar. Uh, Talon, you are awesome. We appreciate Camden, you. Camden, come on over as well. Let's do this. Let's have fun, y'all. Camden said he's blowing up her, the phone right now. Ah, he's calling you. <laughs> oh my God, that's great. That I figured that's who he was texting when, uh, when we were calling. But uh, regardless. Graveyard goons with a Z. That's right, just yeah, like this. I will pin it. <clears throat> If you type that into YouTube, Graveyard Goons with a Z, it'll pop right up. We're live right now. We've been live for like two and a half hours. Uh, we're going to keep being live. So, yeah, come on over. It's a blast. It's a good time. And uh, hopefully we'll be back here on TikTok again tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. But I love you guys. Thank you we for coming out. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much. We'll see you at YouTube. See you on the tube, baby. And it just looks cooler. It just it looks cooler on YouTube, y'all. Yeah. It just does. Like, uh, look at our studio. Studio is crazy cool, man. You can't even see all that cool shit. I don't even know. There's more stuff back there. Yeah, come on over. Thank you, guys. YouTube. See you Let's there. Let's do it. See you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. Well, that you was know. a slow TikTok night. But that was. Hey. Hey. What's up, Brenda? Yeah. Thanks for coming you, over. Baby. It'd be funny if you called my grandma. <clears throat> Did you send the number? We'll call. All right, Trey, you're up first. Um, Trey, you want to... Oh, wait, that was from a while ago. We called your grandma, I think, huh? Yeah, you guys can send numbers in if you want. Yo, send River Crystal, shit. thank you for coming over. Thank you, Brenda. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, y'all. Let's party. Now we're going to do Trey's number. All right, you want to call the guy that doesn't know he's gay? Who's that? Oh. Uh, Trey's number? Yeah. Yeah doesn't know i know he likes actually dudes. i'd rather call the ex, the ex because i talked to her yesterday okay so trey let's find the ex um tessie yeah that's it that's it you want to call her yeah <clears throat> all right follow up yeah this is great this is crazy let's go solid gold i think my name was becky probably Your call has been no. forwarded to voicemail. Let's try again. Please answer. This was so fun yesterday.
Shun of a bitch. Your call has been. Uh, we'll sure. try to call her again another time for sure. If we go to live tomorrow, maybe we can call her. But this is not the same number that we called from yesterday. No, so. it's not. And I'll get one that's like completely out of state somewhere else. Doesn't know I know he likes dudes, has grinder. I've even said it's okay if you are, buddy. We worked together for two years in the oil field. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would imagine the oil field guys, they're not going to be like, hey, this is what I'm doing. You want to call Jesse? So, like, what should <clears throat> I do with this so it's not incredibly offensive? Uh, You want me to call him and I'll yeah, give you something else? you're like a guy. Okay. It I'll, would make I'll sense, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll call him right now. Let's do it. Yo. If you guys are having fun, hit that like button. Hit the like, baby. Hello? Hello, is this Jesse? Speaking. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? I was calling because I was seeing y'all working over there at the oil fields. Who's this? This is Jacob. And I, I you know, I know, I know you said on your grinder profile that you work in the oil fields. And you gave me your number like six months ago, and I was just wondering if you were still trying to like do something or if you was taken. Uh, I'm not really following, but I'm at work right now, so. I oh, you pumping, boy? Doing... You pumping that shit? Boy, let me hear you pump that shit. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> boy, let me hear you pump that shit, boy. Nobody pump like you do, boy. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, Trey. He uh he wasn't feeling it. So we still don't know if he's gay or not. We still don't know. I guess we'll never know. Maybe one day. Uh, if you guys haven't subbed to our uh, channel, here's why you should. We've been here for six and a half years. There's over a thousand videos on this bitch, and uh, a lot of great prank calls. A lot of good times. So if you're interested, if you like our show. Hit the sub. It helps us out. It's a fun Let's fucking time. Let's find a spicy one. You want to dig through the crates? Yeah. Okay. We're going to dig through the crates. We got people that send us numbers all the fucking time, guys. Some of these have to be spicy. Oh, yeah, baby. You know we got some spicy daddies. Uh, can you call my ex-friend? Her name is... She likes to sign. Pilar. She... Pilar. You want to call Pilar? Uh, what let's it, see. What does it say? I don't know. I'm looking for something else. Tried to get with me and my friend at the same time. Oh, shit. Can you call my mom? She's 35 and loves the color green. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, great intel. Uh, his name is Joshua, and he has a lot of bumps on him. Poison Oak. What? Okay, you want to call Poison yeah. Oak, boy? This is great. What the fuck? This is so random. <laughs> Call my bumpy friend Josh. <laughs> this is the kind of shit we get, guys. It's fucking ridiculous around oh here. Oh my god, dude. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voicemail box. Oh no, bitch. Come on. We're trying to call Bumpy Boy. I just need me a Bumpy Boy in my life. I'm sorry. Fuck, Come on, man. jerpies. Let's get it. Come on, Bumpy. We need to find another Bumpy Boy. That was too good. I really wish he picked up. Uh, call my friend Joshua. He's got a lot of bumps on him. Mm. That was beautiful. Uh, call my friend that owns me gas money. Please. He works at McDonald's. Uh, okay. I've got a guy in the military. Uh, loves animals. Here we go. What you got? She called me a home wrecker, and her name is Isabel, and she is rude to public service employees. Okay, I gotcha. All right, let's call Isabel. Vinny. Vin, this is for you, my man. Vin Vinegar. Thank you. You submitted this yesterday, so. Thank you, Vin Vin. You probably will never hear of us again, but we're calling your number. Your call has been forwarded oh, to an automated on. voice God, message. what the fuck? Everybody just turned their phone off after a certain point in the night? I don't think so, doggy. <clears throat> That's funny, Jessica. Oh, my God. I can't even imagine what that would feel like. Your call has no. been forwarded to an automated... Shit, Vinny Vinegar. 
It didn't work. All right, that's okay. We're gonna st- we're gonna find some more, folks. Hang, Hang in there tight. with us. Oh, this is Talon. Grandpa phone number or house phone number. Please don't. This is Grandma. Be should though. Please don't be S- stupid. Stupid. This is S T U I D. I'm assuming you're saying stupid, Talon. Have you seen this show? This shit's gonna be dumb as fuck, but we're gonna call. <clears throat> What's your grandma's name? You should just call her as a bingo lady or some shit. And then Talon said, just send an email. Yeah. What does that say? Don't be stupid. Stupid, yeah. And what's your grandma's name? Yeah, give us a first name to your granny. We'd be calling your granny right now, baby. Let's do it. If you guys are having fun, hit that like button. Let's do it. All right, we're going to wait for you, Talon. Just give us her first name. Just your grandma's first name. That way, you know, people never, a lot of people don't give us names to people. And it's like, I want you guys to think about if some random number called you in the middle of the night and they didn't know your first name. Yeah. How long would you hang on I for, you know? I wouldn't answer my phone, first of all. But, <laughs> but I think. If I did and someone was like talking about nothing, it has to start somewhere. What? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What does? I miss The something. name. Like you need a name. Oh, I yeah, would yeah, imagine. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. We're just going to call Talon. Without a name. So hopefully you get it to us by the time she picks up. Oh, it didn't work. Here we go. I will try again. For whatever reason, that number is forbidden. The forbidden fruits of your grandmother. Oh, because you put too many numbers in there. Oh. Uh, okay, well, here. I will take one of the numbers out, and we'll see if it was the right well, just, one. Bitch, you guessed it. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know what that I is. I think t- we were connecting to outer space. Maybe. Camden with another <laughs> well, cash a, app. It has to start sometime. Yeah, let's keep it moving. All right. He'll... Levi, his brother's gay. Is is he? Oh, my God. All right. Okay. All right. We're just being weird now. Thanks, Camden, for the cash <laughs> app. Let's, let's do it. Thank you, Camden. <laughs> this show is unhinged. Yo. Hey, um, Levi? What? Yeah, so, um, I was, like, really interested in your brother, and he told me that he was actually into men. Is this Lily? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, like, really upset about it, and I I know that, like, you both are brothers, and I was just wondering if maybe, do you like women? I'm dating Andrea, so. Andrea? Yeah. Well, do you think you could break up with Andrea and maybe go on a few dates with me? Nah. Why not? Because I like her, that's why. Well, I guarantee you'll like me too. So maybe, would she be interested in a thruple? Nah. Well, you should ask her because this pussy is bomb. I'm good. Well, you're missing out on some heavy-duty explosives. I'm good. No, but for real, like, this pussy's on fire. I'm good. No, but for real, my butt is so tight. Bro, I'm good. No, but for real, I just queefed. Bro, I'm good. What's the easiest way to sell you some poon, man? I'm just trying to get into it. Oh, what? How do I how do I sell this bomb pussy to you? Well, I'm good. Honestly, my pussy gets wetter than Florida during hurricane season. He all go. <laughs> He's gone. That's all it took. Oh my god. That's all it took. You gotta tell him about the puss, y'all. <laughs> I did not know him. what to do there, but oh my god. 
got to tell them what kind of equipment <laughs> you're working with. gets wetter <laughs> in Florida during hurricane season. I don't know where that came from. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to call your granny boy. Uh, your granny's name is Reagan. Oh, my God, like the chick from The Exorcist. Let's go. Here we go. Ding, 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 ding. Hello. Hey, is this Reagan? No, you're calling the wrong number. Please no, don't call. No, don't call me. You you call me. I'm calling you back. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Her <laughs> accent is adorable. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was great. All right, let's see. Talon, you got another one for us? What you got? Uh, no. You just, uh, you, I think you sent the same number. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to dig in the crates, y'all. We're going to find some shit. It really do be happening. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a fucking wild card real quick. A wild. Wild card, baby. This one has no name, no nothing. Let's go. That's how people talk that eat corn. From birth, from womb to tomb. Here, I'll get him with that. (laughs) Please answer. Josh, he's got bumps on him. <laughs> hey. Please leave your message for... Oh, shut up. Here we go. We're going to call Adam. This one is it's for very, you, Vincent. very gullible. Who? This guy? Yeah, that's what it says. My friend Adam is very gullible, and I running a small snowboarding company. Hey, Adam, if you are calling me... What? Oh, damn, Adam. Did he say, hey, Dad, if you are calling me? This is Adam, if you are calling me. Hey, Adam. Hey, it's Adam. Talon you said, calling no, me? I said wrong name. Wait, you sent us the wrong name in your email after sending us the wrong number in your email? What kind of fucking mind games are, are you playing? Are you high? <laughs> what is going on, dude? I know I am, and that's too much, bro. It's too much figuring out. <sighs> Their name is... Whaler? They like pineapple on pizza. They hate scammers. Here we go. Uh, Here you, we go. You gotta be the do the voice. Yeah, I will. I will if they fucking pick Talent up. Talent said, "Can you check your email?" Hold on. You should call that psycho girl that works for Elon Musk. Oh my god. Oh no, we ain't calling her. Honestly, I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> that that call was fucking too crazy. Man. Oh well, there said you want to call phone losers voicemail and leave a freestyle. Leave a freestyle. Mm, All right, baby. I'll do it. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. I'll do it on the next show. I'm fucking exhausted, dude. I don't think my freestyles are that good tonight, but I will leave one for him for sure. Call my friend that owes me gas money. He works at McDonald's. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll fucking rough him up for that gas money, dude. We love you too, Trey. Hell yeah. Hello. What's up with your old corn-fed fucking ass? I'm calling oh, about... This, this is a TikTok live stream. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not on TikTok, dude. I don't play with that fucking Chinese shit. Nah. If I was on TikTok, could I say some shit like this? Fuck up, boy! Nope. Couldn't do it. Hey, man, you owe me gas money, dog. Yeah, this is. I remember. Nah, you don't remember shit, dog. I love what? your TikTok. Nah, dude, I ain't on TikTok. Not me, dog. Hold on, let me go look at the live real quick. Go look at it. I promise you. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, duty. Yo, hold on. Stay on this light. What was it called? Calls from. Nah, dude, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Call you're talking from. about. Call. Oh, I have the... No, I'm calling you. I think that's where you're getting confused. I'm calling you right now. Nah, Yo, dude. Hold up. Nah. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Nah. You speaking Japanese yeah. to me right now, dog. I'm from the grade. That's what it's called. Nah, that ain't me, dude. That ain't me. This is me right hey, here. Look.
Yeah, baby, what you gonna do today? You know you ain't even talking to motherfucking calls from the grave. No, you talking to a guy that you owe gas money, baby. Do it right now. You gotta rub my little bunnies on my bunions. My bunions. My name is Joshua, and I got lumps on my fucking ass because I'm fucking poison oak and shit. Oh my god, today, you know I'm gonna put a booty hole in my booty. That's kinda gay, I don't know. Yeah, man. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, oh, that's crazy. They, I remember it. That's crazy, though. They ain't even live, are they? Nah. Nah, man. I don't know who you were thinking I was, but that and it ain't me, dude. It is. I remember it. Nah, dude. It ain't me. I'm it on TikTok, the... huh? Nah, dude. Nah, hey, man. go follow my account. Yo, ig 6 Chris. What well, what you be posting, man? But I be posting everything. That means nothing. That means you post I nothing. Dude, I remember this call. Well, yo, what's your niche, yo? What? Exactly. That's the problem. That's the problem. Y'all be posting your fucking lunch lunchables yeah, and shit. I remember I was in there live and I was all watching that shit and I put my numbers. Nah, man, I don't know who you're talking about, but all I know is the next time you see them live, you should probably donate to them, man. They seem like good people. You got three galaxies, like five galaxies that time yesterday. Oh, shit. I don't know, man. Wait, did you send me your own number? Yeah. Why? Why would you do that, man? Because <laughs> I wanted to get called. I was bored that day. Hell no, dude. You have forsaken us. You have forsaken us. Listen, bro. I love that people send us numbers, but send us your friend's number, dude. We're trying to fuck with people that have no idea it's coming. Like, as soon as I called you and I said the wildest shit ever, you were like, oh, you're fucking TikTok guys. Nah, man. <laughs> send us a fucking, send us a, a good number of your friend. Send us your parents' number, right. dude. That's even funnier. I bet. Wait, are you guys live, though? We might be. Maybe not on TikTok, though. I don't know. Sounds like you ain't following Graveyard Goons on all the apps, bro. Oh, it's Graveyard Goons. With a Z, baby. With a Z. get up on that shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, we may or may not be on YouTube right now. I don't know. Special teams. Hello. Hell yeah, dude. All right, we'll see you on the flip side. If you make it to the fucking YouTube chat, say what's up. Hold on, hold on. Let me, I want to hear myself. Special I'm teams. Thinking, nah, we ain't I'm doing that vanity the... shit. Hell no. This is YouTube. You can replay it, bro. Sunday. Special plays. Special players. Special teams. Right now. Oh, shit. Know. You found us, doggy. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. You're famous, dude. Yes, sir. 35 people Go have watched you, man. IG. Go follow the IG at 6k.chris. Hell no, dude. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Chris Fuck that man Come on dude Don't this ain't send a... us your own number Ding dong This ain't a goddamn billboard bro What the fuck you think this is Come on doggy You guys What are you doing Yeah what is this What are y'all talking about Special teams Alright Chris shout out dude Thanks for subbing to our account Cause I know you just did right I know you did right uh, this, he's a horn dog. His mm, girlfriend... No, wait, I... Oh, okay, this is for Trey. Yeah. I found another one that's juicy. All right, we're going to call this, though. Uh, this is Mitch. He's a horn dog. His girlfriend just recently left him. He says super funny stuff. If you talk dirty to him, I'm sure he'll go along with it. All right, let's do it. Mitchy Mitch. Hello? Hey, what's up, Mitch? Who's this? It's Becky. Who? It's Becky. Becky Becky Johnson. Do you remember me? No. Well, you told me that you were, like, recently single, and I was just, like, kind of wondering if you wanted to hang out sometime. Becky Johnson. Yeah. Where are you from? Oh, uh, 
Originally, I'm from Florida. We talked about this. Where did I meet you at? Well, we met through a mutual friend, and it was like a little bit ago now. And I know that you like text me. Oh, I don't know what day it was, but it was probably like a few weeks ago or something. And you said that your your ex girlfriend left you, and now like we are both. I think in like you're in Houston, right? Yeah. So like the opportunity is open, and I just wanted to see. If you were interested in hanging out, like, I don't know why you're so confused, though. Because I don't remember meeting you. Well, we definitely met. And if I'm being real with you, like, just even hearing your voice made me so wet. What? I'm serious. Because, like, the first time I saw you, I was like, God, damn, I'm trying to get that dick at night. Yo, have you never been, like, approached by a woman before? Like, I'm I'm hot right now. Is this a prank? This is not. I'm being dead ass, dude. Like, I am, like, legit interested in you. And I feel like you're turning me down or something. And, like, I don't know how I could handle that. Because before it seemed like you were super interested. And now you're, like, being kind of weird about it. So no, I just I just don't remember you. How do you not remember me? Like, what's up, brother? Can we like figure this out? Do you do you have an iPhone? No. No. I have an Android. You have an Android. Like a real motherfucker. Like a real motherfucker. Yeah, because it works better. I think it has a better camera, so I can get those fucking pores when I take pussy pics. This is insane. Look, dude, I'm just... I don't don't, don't believe I've ever met. We have met. And I'm telling you straight up, like, this is so legit that, like, my pussy is wetter than Florida during hurricane season. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god like what of it I don't understand why this is first of all so fucking funny and second of all how you don't remember me because I'm Becky with the good hair downstairs that's what that's what people know me as oh yeah it's right. it's it's manicured and beautiful and you know what do you look like what do you look like, Becky? I got um like curly lioness type hair. It's um blonde and brown. And I have pretty reasonable sized boobs, but my pussy send me, a, send me a photo of what you look like. I'll send you a picture of my puss, okay, but listen. The you don't you don't have to do the that. inner lips kinda look like Arby's meat. <laughs> it just happens, you know. Sometimes it just happens, and I was born that way. Like, it's more to chew. Wow. wow. And I just bleached my asshole, so like, don't even worry about that part. It doesn't look like like meat, minced meat. Oh yeah. Because I do have hemorrhoids. Yeah. But I mean, you should try uh not, you know, stressing so much when you shit. Stressing? Yeah, like, you know. It's from stretching. It's from stretching. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. It's from stretching it out too much. I got poked a it's, few it's, times too many. This is insane. But, you know, if you eat I really like to get my ass ate, and my butt is high in fiber, so. Oh, yeah? Well, how far are we going to take this? 
I've got no idea. Receiving a random call from a lady named Becky Johnson that I don't believe that I've ever met, uh, calling me, telling me about how wet she is and how bad she wants me to eat her pussy out is a bit. Because I'm trying to get that dick at night. And maybe I'm not so good at sex talk or whatever, but I thought uh, my game was on. And now I'm trying to motherfucking roll tide with you in bed and we can kick the chicken. Oh. Roll tide and take the chicken. Yeah, I heard you were a fiend for the bean, man. Like, are y'all hiring? My what? I don't know. I'm just trying to get dicked down for real. Like, just throw it down there, man. Oh, sorry. What the fuck was that? I told you, it's from stretching. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. You should hear the other one uh, from the front. <laughs> I actually just shit myself. Yeah, you should go wipe. I actually like it when it's in between the cheeks, you know, kind of like a cream-filled donut. It's warm, and I enjoy that feeling from time to time. You you never do that? Yeah, no, that's nasty. Well, it makes slip and sliding really fun, and it's finally warm outside, <laughs> so... Oh, this is... This is... You know what? Do, I know you, there's mind? there's this young woman that actually um, would be really interested in having uh, a throuple experience. I am going to grab her because she's in the other room. So hold on one second. Hello. Hi. So um, this is the guy I was telling you about that definitely is real fine do you want to like get together and do that thing we were talking about the other day yes this is beverly hi how are you i'm good uh, say hi say hi to her who the fuck is this don't be shy this is like you can talk to her she's a friendly person like she just gets upset when you know she feels like she's being turned down and i kind of understand because i feel like you're doing the same thing to me well what the fuck do you think this is that's what i'm saying what is your problem do you I think he hung up as soon as she said, what the fuck? Damn it. Yeah, I know. Fuck, that was such a good call. <clears throat> that was a fun one. Yeah, he didn't know what the fuck to do, y'all. He was shook. Guys, what were you doing with the pointing? Um, I think it's something they wanted me to do. They want me to call somebody and go, what's up, brother? <laughs> no, the, there was something else. I think, and I, I thought they were making fun of me because <laughs> I tried to send someone our Gmail. But you can't do it on YouTube because it won't let you send emails. And I just was really? like, can you see this? <laughs> but uh, that was crazy. That dude just got the weirdest phone call ever. <laughs> what the fuck? Cam, then I'm going to piss off your boy, Tim. Damn, that's a brother, but nerdy. What's up, brother? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll try to call him again. I wasn't picking up. God damn, I gotta pee again. This show's crazy. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Shit. The person you're trying to reach is... Shite. Shite there, buddy. Oh, yeah. Shite my pants, Talon. Um, or do Randy Russian or say... This is the Russian. Talon. 
Put your thoughts in one email, bro. This is a lot. Um, I don't see another number, Talon. I just see your grandma's number, which we already called. So I do not know what the fuck that is that you'll mean. But, uh, yeah, let me fucking, I'll find something random. Hopefully it's not somebody else that sent us their own fucking number, dude. It's just not fun. It's just not fun. Uh, Angie, she likes to do garden and she likes to sing. Perfect. Let's get her. Let's get her. I'm so tired, y'all. We're about to fucking call it a night, baby. Oh, no. The number you dialed is not a... All right, well, fuck that one. Okay. Uh, prank call my friend. His name is Trey. Uh-oh. Am I calling you Trey? If so, answer. He likes to say the N-word a lot. Okay. All right, I'll get him. I shall get him. That's not great. It's fine. It's fine. Here we go. I had another spicy call that I found, too. Oh, shit. I'm exhausted. I was thinking of doing this. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're... What's your spicy call? Hold on. It's, I have it pulled up already, so don't... All right, I'm going to see if I can get this guy to answer. It says... <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's actually calling? Okay, hold on. You rock, Trey. <laughs> you do. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. All right, let's hear the spicy. Okay, one. it says, hey guys, my name is Steven. I was hoping you could prank my ex-roommate. She was super disgusting, constantly letting her fully grown German Shepherd Husky mix pee slash shit on our floor. His name is Judas. And I had to either clean it myself or tell her to clean it. Otherwise, she would leave it. She never washed dishes, and when she cooked, it was always overcooked steak and really shitty rice, on top of many other things. She also would bring random people over without telling me, even though we agreed that she'd tell me. It ended with her and her boyfriend of two weeks calling the cops on me because I asked for my extra house key. She wasn't even on my lease. The cops never even showed up, lol. I also have audio of the day that all of this went down. Her name is Christina. Holy shit. <laughs> um, what, what's your angle here? What do you think you're going to do? I'm going to be the landlord. Yeah, but what if she moved out of this like three years ago? They don't give a time, do they? It doesn't matter. I can just be the, the landlord. Okay. Let's fucking, let's get her. Hi, is this Christina? Hi, Christina. This is Rebecca, and I'm actually um, S Steven's landlord. Steven's landlord? Yeah, you were living there, and you weren't on the lease, and I just found out about this. This was like a year plus ago. Yeah, I know. And I'm just now finding out about all the things that happened because um, there's some stains on the floor from your husky mix uh, from urine and fecal matter. Can you hear me? Christina? I'm going to need you to come clean this up. She hung up. Damn. <laughs> she got fucking scared. Oh, my God. I think God. she got legitimately scared. Oh, yeah. Damn, damn it. Damn. I really wish that would. She was like, yeah, that was like a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah, well, there's still piss and shit here, so you're going to come get it. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. People oh, are man. fucking savage. I'm not going to say I haven't done worse shit in a fucking house. That's for sure. I pissed on the actual floor Talon one time. Talon keeps telling us to <clears throat> do it again. I sent everything in one message. Check it out. Uh, wait. This is, is this not, dude, this is the same number for your grandma. <laughs> yeah. No, we can't, so we cannot call twice in one night. We cannot call the same person twice in one night. 
So sorry about that. Thanks my for friend. being here, Trey. I hope you have a good night. We're probably about to do the same thing ourselves. We certainly are, guys. If you are interested in exclusive content, secret content, stand up comedy, stickers, art, all that shit, go check out our Patreon. I just uploaded a couple of stand up clips today. One is very bad, it is a bomb, but I have promised our audience for years now. Doesn't matter how good, bad, or ugly the set is, I'm fucking posting it. But at least there's one after that that's redeemable. So uh, there are hours and hours and hours of stand-up comedy on there for $3 a month. Hours of fucking goons. Exclusive content you're not going to find anywhere else for $3 a month. $5, you got the sticker tier, which we are designing stickers right now. And the art tier, which we are working on those as well. And we hope to have them out within the next month. So Word yeah. on the street is we might be going live again tomorrow. Yes, word on the street is we might be mm. going live. So we will see. Uh, really depends on how late we stay up tonight. But, uh, yeah, so go check that out. And thank you to all the patrons and everyone else that supports us. You guys are awesome. If you want to listen to us on Spotify, we're also on Spotify at Calls from the Grave. You can check that out. Uh, it's not as fancy as the video, but if you're into it, awesome. Shout out to all the people that sent us cash apps. You're fucking awesome. We're going to go buy food, costumes, and sex toys with it. It's going to um, be great. Modern, thank you for sending an email. If I'm broke as shit, okay. and I don't mind saying it. I didn't mean to do that. If we go live tomorrow, we'll call it first thing, okay? Hell yeah. But we are definitely wrapping up because we are both spent. I am beyond spent. I am so fucking exhausted. Threadless. Threadless, homies. Listen, they got a sale going on right now. Honestly, I don't know if this is this sale. That's from last week. I was so busy today. I didn't have a chance to make another screen but uh if you're interested there's a shit ton there's like over 100 designs on there it's all goon stuff creepy tiki stuff all that good stuff so yep mitra nine my man or lady or they or them i don't care look mitra nine creepy mitra nine for 20 percent off and you can be as fucking jived up as we are that's for damn sure uh if you want to watch my stand-up clips you can't see the whole sets on youtube but you can watch some shorts just a little mm, a little snippet of it Head on over to RJ Jackson Films on YouTube, and you can find all that bullshit, baby. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Also, uh, shout out to Woe There. Woe There is our longest-running mod. He's he the best. does more work for us than anyone imaginable. Like, Woe There, he... There's a mod, and then there's what Woe There does, which is kind of like almost a, a manager or an agent of some sort from afar. Like, he's so good at looking out for us. He's so good at making brilliant suggestions for the show. Uh, and he's been doing that for, uh, for about five years now. So When you hear your family. That's right, baby. Uh, go check out PrankCast.com. We're live on PrankCast.com right now. It's a website. It's only prank calls for the most part. So if you love prank calls, live prank calls, that's the place to go. There's a shit ton of shows going on every single day, and it's a really good time. So I see a few people that are basically giving us an encore here. We are so tired. Yeah. And it's nothing personal, but we want to do your calls, but we just want to make them worth it. So um, if we go live, it'll probably be around 9, 8.30, 9, something like that. Hopefully a little earlier than that. We've been going live on just doing TikTok uh, around 7.30 or 8. Yeah. So uh, if we go live, it'll be around, let's let's say, 8. Fuck yeah, y'all. And we will do Justin and Modern's call tomorrow if we go live. If not, we'll probably be, probably be live on Sunday or something. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to be live sometime soon, y'all. We definitely so will. So turn your notifications on. Yeah, turn them shits on, dog. And it's it's going to be on Calls from the Grave on TikTok, primarily. So I doubt we'll be live on YouTube a second time this week. We don't usually do that. Um, YouTube shows take a little bit more out of us. There's a little more prep that's involved. and Obviously all that a lot more chats to tend to as well. Yes, baby, yes. Um, also, if you guys want to try Kava for yourself or create them, uh, go head on over to creepytkt.com. Use code Goon Squad for ten percent off your entire order. Doesn't matter what you get. Go get it. Also, if you guys want to watch me do stand up, I'm gonna be in a little club twice called Dream Big Venues. It's in a fucking bumfuck town in the middle of nowhere called Del Mar, Delaware. Yeah. 
Really good time. This club is awesome. Love performing there. It's I'm great. I'm so glad Nick Dees <laughs> is coming because he's really funny. Um, he's a killer. Also, yeah, if you guys want to um, watch Devin's show on Prankcast after we leave, please feel free. Go to prankcast.com and she's currently live. I have no idea for how much longer, but. Hell yeah, go check out Devin. Um, also, what the fuck? Check out Phone Losers. Hilarious. This dude's like the Don of prank calls. He's been doing it for longer than literally anyone you've ever heard of that does prank calls. No one's done it longer than Brad. Uh, Snowplow Show, Phone Losers of America. The dude's got like 85 fucking shows. It's great. He's awesome. Uh, yeah. How about your girl, Oshi, baby? Also, if you, um are looking for something to do after we hop off this live. I would just go through Phone Losers YouTube or S the Snowplow Show YouTube and just listen to all of those calls because Brad is fucking incredible. All right. Oshi is my friend Emily, and she makes the music that we start our show with and the music that we leave to. She's very talented, and she makes a lot of lo-fi type of music that is pretty cool to have on in the background. Um if you're like working on something creative or just like don't want to listen to music with lyrics, uh, we want to encourage her to make more music. So please go follow her on Spotify. Fuck yeah, dude. Go do it. Uh, oh, yeah. That's when I do my thing. Oh, wait. <laughs> whoops. That's not the thing. Okay, guys. I am clearly too tired to do anything. I'm hungry. Kind of tripping a little bit. Uh, I need to fucking lay the fuck down. Oh, my God. Guys, we love you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being so supportive. I know tonight was a very slow night, but you guys made it worth it. It was fun. It felt intimate. It felt old school goons. I like that. It's nice. Hell yeah. You guys are nice. Thank you for being so nice to us. Turn that down. Uh, I can't. It's always this loud. I love you guys. We'll see you next week. We We're going to die one day. It's our job. It's your job. It's everybody's job to laugh, baby. Do a motherfucking epitaph, bitch. Yeah, that's right. I'll see you next week, or maybe tomorrow or Sunday, or maybe I'll ski, ski, baby. Oh my God, I'm gonna probably fall asleep in the middle of this rap, but you all are fucking shit. You're the shaft. Oh my God. Yeah, see you next week. I'll see you maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, baby. Please, oh shit, click, click on the motherfucker. Do it like you're in third grade and tell your fucking mother, baby. Thank you so much, everybody. We appreciate you all hanging around that show because it was a little different than what we normally do, but you're all awesome. You are, guys. We love you. Have a great night. Bye. Thanks Bye. for stopping by. Have a good night. We love you. Thank you. You guys rock. Well, yeah, dude. Also, someone said um, that it's not that late there, but it is very late here. Woo!